Bro. What's up? Guys. They're sending me back in Monday. Guys, next Monday I'm going back in. They're, they're, I mean, I'm not going back in. The doctor is going back in, dude. Ah, shit. I gotta enjoy all the nuts and, like, additional, like, uh, oats and such now. In two days, I gotta go back to the... I gotta go back to the... That pamphlet diet, dude. God fucking damn it. I don't know what you're planning on finding in there, Doc. I don't know what you're planning on finding there, Doc. Any good news? No. It's <laughs> just... Dude, it's like... I, I, look, I, today's appointment was literally just like a... Go in so you can have something else scheduled. The good news is that I didn't have to spend a week straight trying to get an earlier appointment for this most dreaded of days next Monday. Uh, it was a quite easy trip this time to get everything scheduled. So honestly, a lot of the stress is out of it. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to worry about scheduling anything. So all is all is well until after that now, because then that's when I'm, I'm, I'm going to know what the next step is. I mean, look, the doctor basically looked me in the eyes and was like, look, guy, you probably have Crohn's, but we can't, uh, we're not going to check your, we're not going to do any other tests for your small intestine until we make sure your large intestine is still good, idiot. And then they laughed at me. I get it. I do get it. <laughs> I get it. I was just hoping, look guys, because here's the problem now, is I'm going to go in. They're going to send the doctor up my butt. All right. They're going to they're going to figure out whatever fucking dark truths they need to figure out. And then they're going to send me back in to the doctor for another one of those in like two more weeks so they can go even farther in the next time. I'm just tired of it. Whatever. <sighs> Dude, it sucks to you because it's... Uh, it, I don't know what the fuck it is. I always get the fucking nasty, like, scraps for appointments. Like, I'm not going to deny... I'm not going to decline them. I'm not going to be like, no, thank you. I don't want my... I don't want this appointment, like, over and done with on Monday. Uh, let me fucking extend that bullshit anxiety for another, like, three months. But, like... They don't give me a nice, <laughs> I never get a, I never get a cool, like, 4 p.m. appointment, you know what I mean? I never get a, a cool 4 p.m. on this one, dude. I would have taken a cool 4 p.m. on this one, dude. I get fucking, I get 8 a.m. And in the context of this appointment, that means you're spending all night on the toilet, you fucking loser. I don't sleep that night. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Just don't eat as much and you won't poop much. Simple as. Man. I you know what's the real thing, chat? The real bullshit? I should start picking out what drink I want to hate after Monday. Now. Get it? Get a, get a drink that I'm going to like to drink for about one day. And then be done with it after that. Because last time it was the, it was like the yellow or green Gatorade. I don't remember. Like it was one of those two. And I'll tell you what. I ain't never drinking it again till the day I fucking die. I'm not drinking that one again. But so now I got to find another drink. 
to be my, like, keep me alive for a day drink while I drink nothing but this. So I can never drink it again afterwards, all right? <sighs> Dr. Pepper, I am allowed to drink soda. I didn't know that actually last time. I've got my, I've, I've got my informational pamphlet here. Fucking hell, dude. Six hours before the appointment, I gotta slam the rest of my funny juice. Dude, I ain't sleeping that night. It's over. I gotta drink that shit at 2 a.m. <laughs> at 2 a.m. I have to wake up and shit my pants. God damn it. Oh. Whatever, you know, it's fine. What's like, I'll be back by like 9 a.m. and I'll just get like five hours of sleep and wake up at like 3 p.m. or some shit. 3 or 2 p.m. Definitely no stream that day, dude. Next Monday's a wash, man. <laughs> just give it up. But, uh, that's not too bad. You can only drink sodas without red dye. So Dr. Pepper is a no-go. Oh, no. No, 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 Katie. Uh, to be clear, <laughs> Dr. Pepper was never on the table. I was talking about, like, uh, good soda. But thank you. But, like, I don't want it to be too good, but because then I wouldn't want to drink it ever again afterwards. Because, chat, that's the thing. It's like when you get... It's like... The problem is... Your brain is going to associate whatever you drink during a trying time like this. Uh, as like the same way when you get sick, when you get like a stomach bug or something. And the last thing you ate right before you threw up is like something you will never be able to stomach again for the rest of your life. Um, I got to be I got to tread carefully these halls. Oh, man. <sighs> okay, so... Dude, it's actually really fun because the timing of this pamphlet means in the middle of Sunforge, I'm gonna have to tell everyone to shut the fuck up and then say I have to leave. And all of you are gonna know what that means because I am not gonna be able to stay for that entire episode. Unfortunately. That episode is gonna be uh, cut short for, that will be some of the, no, that's actually really choice. <laughs> that's actually really choice, guys. Because what we're gonna have is this awesome, you guys are gonna see the last moments of happiness I have on Sunday. Isn't that fucking epic? You guys are gonna see some of the final moments. They're gonna be on camera. And I'm going to say I have to go for a long time. And then I'm not going to come back. I mean, you don't shit that fast. Honestly? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, actually, it, it's pretty rad how fast it fucking worked for me. Dude, honestly, I'm kind of over-exaggerating the amount of time I'm going to need to be in that bathroom. Because, frankly, both of the drinks... I had to do it at a shift of, like, two sets. I was in and out of there in, like, an hour for both of them. And then I was good. Like, th that thing ripped through me like a fucking bullet. It was... It was... It was baffling. The, the, the advances we've made in medicine... It was good because I didn't have to like, I do vague, you see, it's, it's a lot more fun now. It's, <laughs> it's not fun, but it's a lot more fun to goof around about it because I already had one. I'm not as, last time I was like freaking out about it because I, I didn't know what to do. And I was like scared, but like now I'm like, okay, I, I, I've, I've done this. I've done it. Now it's just like. I'm just like, Ugh, there goes my Sunday. <laughs> Not my first rodeo on that there toilet. I mean, yeah, that's the hardest part. The hospital part is my, that's my nap time, dude. <laughs> that's my, that's my like nap time. I'm going to get in my little, my nice like hospital PJs. They're going to make me sniff some funny gas. 
And then I'm gonna wake up to a doctor handing me a glass of water and they're gonna then look at a bunch of papers and say, it's fucking shockingly normal in there. Or the alterner alternative where they'll be like, it's so bad, we lost a guy in there. We lost people. It's bad. So, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a fun Monday evening. <laughs> people, people died. A clown got one of the nurses. <sighs> How about both? Super normal, but they still lost the intern. Yeah, well, that intern wasn't cut out for this line of work, were they? Honestly, the part that's wigging me out the most and continued to wig me out the most last time, too, isn't like any of the like here's what you do in the final 24 hours it's the part where it gets really confusing four to one days before the final 24 hours which is where suddenly certain foods are not okay four days no more nut don't eat more nut no more nut or seed or corn no nut Don't eat it. Two days before. No raw fruit or raw vegetables. Dude. I, that that one got me the first time. I was like, you're telling me I can't eat this lovely banana? What do you mean? It's gonna be it's gonna be bad by the time I'm out of this. There's only a window. I'm gonna have to fucking cook this thing. No celery? Oh, that's fine. I could, dude, if all the celery on earth fucking like vaporized itself and got absolutely destroyed, I wouldn't blink. I wouldn't even blink. Fuck that. Celery sucks. It's the worst part of everything it's in. Consistently. I feel like people only put celery in stuff so that you have something to like focus on as the worst part of it so you don't look at everything else too closely. Terrible, terrible, terrible and awful. It's a great vehicle for dips. So is chips, which are better. Why would you ever want to do that to yourself? Look, moving on. Whole grains. Dude, actually not that complicated. Whole grains is, I, I don't, I, I don't fuck with whole grains anymore, man. I don't. Dude, what the hell can you eat? Dude, I only listed raw fruits and raw vegetables and whole grains so far on this one. I, we still have quite a few options. <laughs> we, I haven't gotten to the end of the list yet where it starts getting confusing. High fiber foods, uh, don't eat any, such as brown rice. Dude, uh, I don't fuck with brown rice that much, so that's fine. Whole grain bread, I don't eat trash. Uh, beans. Devastating. Again, devastating. That one sucks, but I only have to get through not eating beans for two days. Uh, only two days of no beans. Can't eat beans. Damn. And then it uh, reestablishes no s n seeds or nuts again. How many beans do you normally eat? Well, not boatloads, but it's the idea that I have to avoid it that makes... Chat, when you're given a list of things... Oh my god, I can't imagine living with a food allergy. Alright, because the second I have a list of things in front of me where a paper is like, literally... If you eat this, you're in huge trouble. I start thinking that everything I've ever eaten might contain fucking beans, dude. All right. At that point, I'm looking at smoothies. I'm looking at, I got this freaking, I got my orange juice carton and I'm checking the fucking nutritional facts to make sure there's no beans in it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no beans in it, but like, dude, I've been caught slipping before. I've been caught slipping before last year. Okay. My final pre-procedure meal before it was over and I had to start drinking my horrible drink was a pizza, okay? It was a pizza. And on the underside of that pizza, 
they used cornmeal to like to coat the underside of it. The cornmeal is not edible during the pre-procedure process. Cornmeal is bad. Dude, I never felt more. I got two bites into that pizza and then I was like, it's over. I ruined everything. I suffered for nothing. It's over. And I was like devastated. I never told the doctors and they never found out because it wasn't really that big of a deal. But God damn it. Having to watch everyone in my family fucking annihilate the pizza I got for myself because they used cornmeal on the underside might have been, I mean, it would have been a Joker moment. It would have been a, like a, a, it would have been one of the darkest moments in my life. Uh, if I didn't then have to like fucking like violently shit over a toilet for the next 16 hours. Uh, it would have been it would have been traumatizing if not for that incoming pretty much right afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's how they get you. Stop all iron supplements, okay? That's fine. I, dude, I, I don't eat iron. It's probably why I'm always so dizzy. But I'm allowed to take my multivitamin. Okay. Drink lots of clear liquids to keep you hydrated. Always do. Dude, I'm not one of those dehydrated losers you see that doesn't remember to drink water. I might be the most hydrated person I know. <coughs> Hang on, I need more water. Dude, I, I have to mute when I drink water because I don't want people to hear how much I'm slamming that bottle. You know what I mean? I don't want people to hear it. You know? Mm. Avoid red dyes found in fruit punch and sports drinks. Only red dyes. See, this is the important part. I don't give a shit what anything online says. All I have to do is follow this paper right here all right only red dyes all other dyes i can be as silly as i want regarding other dyes as long as red isn't in there i'm good uh and then one day before the dreaded procedure no solid food uh, no diet or sugar-free products aspartame is not allowed i don't remember that being on it last time uh, guys, it has to be sugar. There must be sugar in there. Uh, they don't want to see aspartame in there. They're gonna fucking know. They're gonna fucking know. Uh, no red popsicles. Yeah, I didn't plan on it. No alcohol. <laughs> Dude, who's out here? <laughs> some people, some people gotta run. I don't know if I'm gonna get sloshed right before my fucking colonoscopy, Dude. I don't know if that was on their table. I'm gonna get fucked up. No dairy products. That's fine. No juices with pulp. Also fine. Honestly, this is a lot more readable than last year. They must have done revisions or something. Last year, dude, I I'll tell you what. Day one, I felt like if I even looked at some foods the wrong way, I was gonna suddenly be, uh, like... Completely ruining mine. Who? Wait, wait, wait. Who the fuck even drinks pulp, dude? Orange juice with pulp? Fox, man. What are you talking about? I like orange juice with some pulp. It's also healthier for you. It's good for my tummy, which has so many fucking problems, guys. Uh, let's see here. I'm allowed to take all my normal medication, and then. On the final day, all I'm allowed to drink? Why is the music getting scary? Huh? Oh. Well, I'm allowed to drink Gatorade or other sports drinks. Dude, uh, look, all I know is the yellow Gatorade. Whatever it fucking is, it's out. All right, I'm gonna check. Hang on, let me check Instacart. It would still be in my, like, history from last year. I don't make that many orders. Hang. Hold up a second now. Let me confirm what it is that I will never be ordering this time because it would kill me. 
Let me go ahead and make sure. It was some, it was some fucking lemon lime. All right. Lemon lime is out. I won't be fucking drinking that trash. Don't even bother. Dude, I had to, oh my God, the amount of lemon lime I had to drink. So yeah, I'm in the market for new options. I'm in the, I'm in the market for new options. Bro, Gatorade is fucking trash. Guys, unfortunately, it's difficult to treat yourself. <laughs> it's difficult to treat yourself a, a day before the procedure. You don't really have a lot of options. I'm not out here with like, this is not like some delicious fucking like perfect solution. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I can't get any, there's no artisanal drinks made for these situations, unfortunately. There's only so many ways you can do water with some sugar in it. How many, how many lovely new ways can I get my freaking get my slop and slime and gruel prepared. Black coffee is fine, which is good for me. Although I have to, I feel like last time I didn't drink any coffee beforehand because I was afraid that if I, after not eating anything, if I drank coffee, I was going to be fucking absolutely wired in like a major way. So I think I like, I think I skipped that shit because I pointlessly believed I was gonna sleep at some point. I last year I had another, uh, my other procedure was fucking like, I think it was, I think it was even earlier. I think it was, I think it was like 7 a.m. And I was like, I'm totally gonna sleep after this. And I was like way too anxious and didn't sleep a wink anyway. So I'm, pr I'm probably just not gonna plan at all on sleeping. It's over. That's over. Clear juices are good, such as apple juice. Thank fucking God, dude. All right, let's be real about something. Apple juice, I might slam some of that. Dude, honestly, that, but no, but then I'll ruin it. Wait, 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 no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I don't remember the last time I actually drank real apple juice, because usually I go to apple cider, because I'm an adult, all right? So maybe I, I scoop back around, we loop back around, we hit up apple juice, and then I never fucking drink it again after next Sunday. Maybe this is good. Or I have white grape as an option, um, which is trash. But maybe if I drink something I already don't really like that much, I'll be forced to enjoy it more. And then I'll absolutely never ever feel like I screwed up by like not being able to drink it later. Maybe that's good. Hmm. Tomato, are you mixing the prep with these drinks or water? No, you mix the prep with uh, water. Actually, I don't even think my prep gets mixed. Dude, last time my prep drink was like, it tasted like, it, it, the closest thing I could put it to was if you left Sprite out in the sun for a week straight, like open. It was like the stalest fucking Sprite I've ever drank. It wasn't salty. It was like this really stale, flat Sprite. And it wasn't that bad. I mean, like, I was able to down the whole thing without an issue. Some people really struggle with that shit. I fucking slammed it, dude. I fucking slammed it, bro. Tomato... Why not have the same Gatorade as last time and ruin nothing new? Because I don't think I could get the same Gatorade down my mouth again. Like, it, it's associated with such a bad situation that, like, it, it would probably be worse than the actual prep drink. I don't think I could do that. Look, all suggestions are good suggestions except for that guy who said a really stupid thing. All right? Okay, let's all, let's all, uh, let's all put our brains together on this one except for that guy who said something really fucking rude. And careless. Orange or blue? I don't know if I can do blue. I mean, it doesn't say I can't do blue, but I feel like if I go in and they, like, get in there, you know, and they see it's all blue, they're gonna be like, he fucking seriously just drank nothing but blue? <laughs> they're gonna know I'm gonna get in trouble. The last, th look, the last thing, here's the thing, guys. You gotta be kind of safe when it comes to this shit, right? Because... The last thing you want to fucking do is wake up on your comfy little bed 
all tucked in under the sheets, and like a nurse comes up to you with a glass of water, and you start sipping it, and you're like, mm, I'm really glad that's over. That's all over. And they say, it was so blue in there, we have to do it again. Come back in a week. <laughs> like, like you want to make sure you do it right, you know? Like, I don't want to do another lap. I, I've known people that have d had that happen. Last thing I need is them to be like, it was so blue we couldn't see a fucking thing and we lost an intern. We lost an intern because of it. You know? Why not just drink water? Dude, I'm not one of you freaking like intermittent fasting bozos, okay? I need constant calorie intake, okay? I'm not gonna, I can't just go a whole day without eating, brother. I can't go a whole day without eating, brother. I need food. I need sugar in my water. I need my drinks. Do you understand? Uh, let's see here. Sodas such as ginger ale, Sprite, Seven Up. I'm not gonna fuck with Sprite because then I'd ruin Sprite and I like Sprite. It's one of the only sodas I actually quite enjoy. Maybe I've ruined ginger ale. Seltzer? Vague seltzer? Dude, I ain't going near vague seltzer. What if? What the fuck do you mean vague seltzer? Fanta, dude, I'm not fucking with Fanta. Fanta's like one of my Fanta. Fanta's one of my go-to's. All right, I ain't fucking with that. Lacroix. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's really fuck up my whole weekend. <laughs> let's let let me let me get a bunch of Lacroix. You're gonna run out of drinks one of these years. Nah. Nah, dude. See, it'll be, here's the only reason I had to do another one of these anyways is because we never got a confirmed diagnosis last year. So they have to like redo everything again now while there's like active symptoms. Ideally going forward after this, I won't have to do annual freaking procedures. I'll, I'll be kind of like, good to go. Once I know what's going on, it'll be a lot easier to skip the bullshit. <laughs> it's gonna be the last one. They only need to check one more time. Popsicles or jello, no red. Guys, at twice now they've established no red, which means Every other color is okay, including silly blue. So I guess we're good. I guess we're good. No red. No red! I can blue it up. It's because the standing looks like blood. <laughs> yeah, but like, I feel like if I went inside, if I was a doctor and I'm checking someone's colon and I just start seeing like the rainbow, because <laughs> the person ate every color of jello but red. I'd be just as just as confused. <laughs> Proctologists are much like bulls. Ah. Dude, all I know is that like of the blue food coloring stuff I've eaten in my life, such as Slurpees, Icy's, you know, that kind of deal. Those have created some of the most alarming follow-up days of my entire fucking life. So if I'm getting the shit scared out of me, when I see that on the way out and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Then how the fuck is my doctor supposed to be able to tell what's going on? Dude, I have to leave a note for myself on my phone to tell me how, like, to not be alarmed <laughs> the next day after I eat certain kinds of candy. It's exhausting.
There's a reason they call it Baja Blast. Because it... it I see. Mm. What else do we have here? Clear chicken bouillon. Not any other... Dude, here's the fucking thing. I fucked with that shit last year. I got, I got like chicken, chicken bouillon or whatever the fuck it is. So chicken broth. Yeah, it's just broth. And I got the carton. I had it in the goddamn like fridge ready to be, ready to be like warmed up. And then I didn't, then I didn't. Cause the problem is dude, when you're sitting there fighting for your fucking life. <laughs> When you're, when you're sitting there fighting for your goddamn life, all right, out there in the trenches, the last thing I wanted, I thought I'd want it more. I thought I'd want a delicious bowl of broth, like some soup adjacent shit, but I didn't. When push came to shove... That carton stayed in that fridge for, for like, a, like, quite literally until, like, it was a week from expiring, and then it was made into a lovely chicken noodle soup by my family. Like, I, I did not at any point consider that for even a fucking second. Because it's like, dude, this is something that I need to be able to access urgently. On the toilet, okay? I don't want, like, I'm not gonna drink my chicken broth cold out of the fucking carton. And I'll tell you what, at no point during any of the times where I was... Wait, you're drinking on the toilet? Dude, I didn't leave that fucking bathroom for like two hours at a time. How long are you in there? Okay, because again, again, I don't know what kind of prep drink you had, Katie, when you did yours, but mine was two hours of straight, almost constant attack, and then I was good, but for two <laughs> hours, all right, I had to have my battle station with me. I had to be ready for anything. I'm trying to think about whether or not I'd like, it would be... It would be wise for me to look into ways in the next couple days to make the toilet more comfortable for me. I might get my Steam Deck. You know what? Like, that's the thing is, I might get my Steam Deck ready. I might, like, get, like, a space heater in there. I might do whatever I have to because, dude, I'm not going to be leaving. Seat warmer? Mm-mm. Get a neck pillow. That would be good. That would be pretty good. Can you bring your d, &D in there? Unfortunately, chat, Sunday will likely be a shorter session for yours truly. Um, I do not believe there is any chance... I w uh, well, I mean, here's the thing. To be fair, I may I may debate it because um, I can probably not start drinking my my funny drink until like an hour later than when they're recommending. Cause like, you know, as long as I get both drinks in me, it's out of me. Like every we're good to go. Uh, they they spread it out so that you don't uh, you're not miserable for like fucking a million hours straight in a row. I know that from before. I asked them stuff like that last year. So, like, I, I probably won't have... I'll probably have to, like, leave an hour early. Because, you know, Sunforge runs, like, fucking... Sunforge runs, like, four or five hours sometimes. That's getting past, like, 6.30. I, I, I gotta get out of there. I mean, no offense, but I know about Tomato's health more than my own. There's certain things about, there's certain aspects of my life I'm very private about, but, um, I don't know. I feel like it's very easy to, like, goof around and joke about this stuff, and it's easier to, like, 
it, it, it's easier to just be open about things like this. I don't know. I think it's fun to talk about sometimes. You know. Plus, I don't know. Maybe some. Maybe someone will say something helpful, and it'll help someone else. Or um, maybe it'll make someone less panicked about their own bullshit that they're dealing with. I don't know. Streamer is obsessed with poop. <laughs> no, Sorry, I actually... Oh, boy. I have I have to fucking make sure... Dude, I'm actually glad I have a cardiologist appointment on Wednesday, dude. That one's gonna be a crazy one. That one's gonna be crazy. I wish it wasn't fucking, like, right on my stream time. Though. I can't... Normally, I'd, like, reschedule it to a better time. I have to go to it urgently, but I'm like... Damn, man. I'm looking at my blood pressure bottle. Listen to this. Guys, you win a big prize if you can count how many more pills are in my medication bottle. Like. It's four. <laughs> it's, I got four days of this shit left. And then I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need my doctor to help me out. So uh Wednesday's not an optional appointment. Um Unfortunately it's not optional. But yeah. Fortunately, because I'm streaming today, um I will likely stream again. Tomorrow. I'm not even likely. I will be streaming tomorrow. Lena and I are doing our follow-up for Minecraft finally. Um, after like two weeks of delays, we're doing a second session of Feared Nightfall. Uh, we never progressed past the first chapter. We did like some side stuff, but like we've barely explored the map. We've got like enchanted like gear and shit, but that doesn't really mean that much in the grand scheme of how ridiculous this mod is. Um, Wednesday I'll take off. And then I'll likely stream like Thursday through to like Saturday. And then I'll take Sunday and Monday off. That's the current plan. That is, that's the current scheme. What coffee do you recommend? I cannot find anything that I like at all. I drink it black. Dude. <clears throat> Have you ever drank black coffee that you've liked? You need to think about this carefully before I answer anything for you. Because you made it just sound like maybe you don't like black coffee. <laughs> I'm not very picky with my coffee. To be honest. Nor am I. The only thing I'm somewhat picky with is my espresso. Or the beans I use for my espresso machine because uh, I don't like um, I don't like it when the beans come, sometimes beans from like bags come out a little greasy like a little oily not really greasy but oily and that oiliness can get it stuck in the grinder or like not slide properly and then you spend more time like pushing the beans around than you do actually like uh, making coffee I use Lavazza most of the time off like Amazon. Those are usually the ones I get for my, uh, for my espresso. It's good. It's good. It is good beans. Lavazza is very commercial. Try Polini. <laughs> Lavazza is too successful. Try this. <laughs> I mean, try whatever you want. Like, honestly, like, whatever floats your boat. Everyone, everyone's got, look, of the things that you can be picky and be like, this is, try this one. It's less well known. Coffee's a fine one. Uh, I do that shit with certain kinds of foods myself and food product. Like I only use one kind of olive oil nowadays. And if you try to give me a different kind of olive oil to cook with, I will laugh at you and pull out the backup bottle I have of my olive oil that I use for cooking. backup. I always got a spare like in the cupboard. 
I keep it in the back so no one moves it. What's your olive oil? Uh, currently, um... Hang on. Currently, I just get Graza. Currently, I get Graza olive oil. Comes in a nice squirt bottle. I like it. I like Graza. Here we go again. Bro's got the oil on his desk. No, I don't. He does. Now, the only thing I have on my desk near me right now is Frank's Red Hot, brother. Holy. All I got next to me right now, Frank's Red Hot, a small bottle. Mm-hmm. Yep. Disgusting? Dude. Frank's Red Hot is totally fine. It is a serviceable, it does its job. It does exactly what it sets out to do, which is be a hot sauce. It's got a good heat. It's decent. I don't need some insane super, super topping. I Sometimes I just want a little bit of kick. Frank's red sauce or powder? Do you think, powder? Powder? Who fu who the hell's out here getting the powder? <laughs> Easier to snort. I don't, dude. Uh, pow Look here. Now listen here right now. Hot sauce. Frank's red hot. Post cook. Post cook. Add some. Powder, you better be putting that on in the middle of the process of cooking. Because if I see someone fucking cracking open like a, like a, like a thing of powder and putting it on top of their food, like an animal. Freak. Sorry, no, I just, uh, look, I just, um. Hey guys, why is tomato breathing so heavy? Is he okay? <laughs> Sorry, I've been. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> I have to stay in a constant feed of copium. <laughs> it's the only thing keeping me alive. <laughs> Why is tomato breathing? Is he okay? Damn. Some people breathe heavy when talking about their sauces. Dude, there's nothing... I don't have that many sauces, all right? I'm not like... I don't have an array of sauces. I've got my red hot here which is like a tiny fucking bottle. And I think that's okay. I think it's okay to have like a bottle of like a go-to seasoning near you. If you constantly eat in the same spot, I think that's fine. All right. It's not, I'm sorry that you live. I'm sorry that you live bound to so many rules, <laughs> dude. I almost feel bad for you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Almost. Yeah, no, almost. Rules are what separate us from animals. <laughs> the Franks stays in the scav vest. There's way too many Tarkov references on this stream for a stream that's never played Tarkov on stream. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> It's like abnormal, it's not right. Fix it? Dude, I don't wanna fucking wait and queue on stream, that sucks. 
That sucks. It's like the secret menu at a restaurant. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think of Tabasco tomato? It's okay. I just... I just like having... I just... Frank's Red Hot is what I have on hand. Okay, I don't have a lot of Tabasco usually. But it's alright. I know you were expecting me to freaking dumpster or like like massively praise either your least favorite or most favorite sauce right there, but I'm gonna land right in the middle and be like, it's all right. I know you were hoping I would either annihilate Tabasco or make it the greatest sauce ever according to me, but I'm not gonna validate you in either direction. Sriracha is the best. I have to be so fucking clear. Um, Sriracha is tragically overrated. Sriracha is tragically overrated. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's any better. If you put Sriracha, Red Hot, and Tabasco in front of me, and then you took two of them away at random, I'd be like, all right. It doesn't matter what the remainder is. I'd be like, okay. They're all the same to me. Like, I, I, You genuinely have the worst opinions of any human on any subject. Holy shit. Thank you. I, I, everything I do, I do for chat interaction. Thank you. I, I do all of it to encourage chat engagement. You're part of the system and you didn't even know it. You just got farmed. Consider some Lao Gan Ma chatlets. Hang on, is that what I think it is? Dude, I got this shit in my fucking pantry. I'm gonna say something some of you don't wanna hear. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. The issue with Lao Gan Ma, all right, is that um, IMO, the application, like hot sauce, Man, I can put red hot on almost anything on earth. <laughs> okay, I can put red hot on almost anything on earth. And it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna feel blasphemous. It's gonna feel a little nasty sometimes. But like, Lao Gan Ma, I feel like I wouldn't put on everything. You know, it, it, it's a little bit more specific. You know, that's the problem with it. I don't use it as much. Franks and chocolate pudding. Guys. And what's so wrong with that? Were you just trying to get, were you trying to get me right there? <laughs> well, how about you relax? Spicy chocolate is good. <laughs> I'm not saying I would try Frank's hot sauce with chocolate pudding, but I've had like dark chocolates infused with like peppers and stuff. Dude. Um, it's not bad, guys. Guys, it's not bad. The only spicy thing I've ever had in my life where I was straight up like, this is wrong and so fucking gross that I genuinely don't know how I'm supposed to carry on with the rest of my life knowing that it's real was this like spicy infused IPA, which in hindsight, I should have known better. 
because it was already garbage because it was an IPA. So of course it was gonna be trash. Of course it was gonna be garbage in a bottle. Dude, my freaking my dad and my uncle are some of the nastiest fucks I've ever met in my life. The swill that they put in their mouth and then try to pass off as good to me, a guy with taste, is baffling. I was I walk up into that freaking like living room on like a Christmas Eve like three or four years ago. And my uncle is like, oh, thank God you're here. Try this out. I got these from like the store the other day, like this fancy like liquor store. It's this like specialty spicy IPA with habanero peppers. And I'm like, okay, dude, <laughs> you, you never leave me astray, uncle. And then I, I fucking swigged it. Was it a prank? No. They were already halfway through theirs. So no. And I took one sip and was like, mmm. And then I put it down and I went away. I went, mmm. And then I left. Spicy beer is terrible, but IPAs are amazing. All right, guys. I'm gonna need someone to, I know this is an almost impossible task because if you ask me to explain why I like whiskey, I don't really know how to put it into words. I need someone to explain as best they can what makes them like IPAs over other kinds of liquor. Okay, just like, just toss out some pointers, you know? It's just carbonation for me. I like drinking bread. It doesn't, is that what bread tastes like to you? <laughs> that's, not, that's not bread. I love Lagavulin whiskey. Bro. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a good whiskey. That's a good. Now that's a good drink. I like beer like a man. Do you think people only really like beer and IPA in the U.S. because, like, it's so heavily advertised? It's, like, so wildly advertised that it's just always on your brain that, like, oh, everyone likes beer. Because, like, I, here's the thing. Maybe I don't know a lot about beer. I probably don't because I don't really like it. I've always operated on the assumption that European beer and like stuff made over the over the sea is quite a bit different than what we get here in the US of A. Okay. Like I would be willing to try beer in Europe and like give it another chance. But uh I've had, I've done, I've done my dude, I've had beer from like really nice breweries in the States. And they, and those people in those places look at me like expecting me to tell them that I, they just like served me the tears of God. All right. The looks in their fucking eyes when I'll drink that swill, they'll be like, you love it. Don't you? It just changed your life. Didn't it? And I'm like, mmm. <laughs> I'm like, mmm, yummy. <laughs> That's good. And I'll never drink another sip. If I if I ever eat anything in front of anyone, and my response to it is, mmm, I didn't like it. You wanna know how you know if I like it? If I fucking annihilate that food or drink in the next five to six seconds, cause my brain, my like reptile brain thinks something's gonna steal it from me. That's how you know if I like something. 
if I destroyed it right afterwards. My fuck my ancient calcified remains of the fish brain I had a million years ago activates and says if I don't finish eating this right now, another small creature might swim over and steal it. I better eat this. Yep. Tomato got that food anxiety dogs have. I got that food anxiety you get from being in a family of five. <laughs> All right. I got that food anxiety you get from having two siblings. All right. I'm going to have I fight for my life. All right. I have two siblings, but I don't get that. I don't know, man. Everyone's different. This is a small batch, not 8.9% IBV Imperial Stout, aged in oak cask and fruited with weed, a skunk's brain on dumb you like our microbrew. Dude. Mmm. <laughs> It's, it's all, dude, they'll say all that shit and then it'll just taste like trash with some wood chips floating around in it. I'm so tired of IPAs. I don't know though. Cause it's like, I, I get it because the same could be said for like whiskey. My, my drink, my alcoholic drink of choice if you don't like whiskey and you put fucking three different whiskeys in front of you, one's really good and the other one's really bad, and there's one in the middle, that person's gonna do what I'm doing right now and be like, it all tastes like shit, and I don't care if you tell me one of them aged in, like, a maple cask. <laughs> like, it, none of it matters. Now, now, if we loop back around and talk about something that we can all agree on, the high viscosity qualities of a real good bottle of balsamic you know maybe then we can start to understand maybe then we can all start to reach some common ground at what makes something high quality mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. master crafted <laughs> anyways chat I'm not exactly keen on having this be a four-hour stream today, if I can help it. Tomorrow's probably going to be relatively long. It's time to get into this freaking game, this Turnip Boy game. The sequel to Turnip Boy evades his taxes or whatever. He made a new one where he's now just, he's fallen fully into a life of crime. It's a goddamn shame. Uh, he is a criminal. That is a gun in his fucking hand. That is a gun in their hands right now. All right. They have an Uzi in their hands. This sounds a lot less subtle. No, guys. They're, they're, look, all right. Apparently this game's like four hours long. I'm not promising I'm going to beat all of it. All right, again. I'm tired. I had to wait. Dude, here, I, I got maybe three hours. You know when you go to sleep and you know you have to wake up early and you keep waking up. You can't fall asleep. But you if you know that if you check the clock, suddenly you're going to feel eight times more sleepy when you know you didn't get any sleep in the morning. So you just choose never to check the time until the alarm goes off. So that you can kind of tell yourself that maybe you've fallen asleep way more than you really did. That's where I'm at. I probably got an hour or two of sleep last night. But my brain, so help me God, will continue to operate on me having four or so. Because I will never let it know the truth. Thank God. Thank, thank God! Alright. Turning on the game.
before you begin your journey, I must ask you a few simple questions. This was not the energy I was expecting going into turn a boy he robs a bank. This, this wasn't the energy in the room that I thought I'd be dealing with. Have you played Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion before? If I say yes, I bet it'll be like, Cool, you don't get the freaking recap on the plot. So I'm gonna say no. You should go back and experience it, but I won't stop you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, Alright, fuck you. <laughs> I, I think I remember. Guys, I remember what happened in Turnip Boy evades his taxes. He evaded his taxes, everyone tried to arrest him, and then I think he killed the mayor uh, after the mayor like like created a giant mech. I think that was the plot. And he had like ties to the mafia. I think that's what happened. He killed the mayor after he became God. Right, 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 right. Now that makes sense to me. Playstyle A is tougher battles and harder enemies. I'm not a pussy. I mean, uh, playstyle B is harder. I picked that one. I picked the harder one. Excellent choice. You're now ready to begin. Farewell. Our paths will likely cross again soon. Okay, bye. Okay, cool. Okay. Only two questions? Yeah, we don't- we don't ask what the yellow eyeball wanted. Yellow eye forgot their question. Yeah, we, we don't care about them. Uh, whatever their question was, it don't matter. Oh my god! Yo, that... That turnip had a gun, guys. Guys, that turnip had a freaking gun. Did you fucking see that? He had a gun. He's so happy. Let's see how long that smile stays on his face after he has to take a life. All right. Let's see how long that smile stays on his face after he takes a life. Dedicated to Toast, the queen of Fort Fatass. Yo, shout out to Toast. Two days after killing a god. One day after a civil war that broke out as a result. Oh. Hey, is this a bad time? I don't think Turnip Boy talks. I got a job for you, a big one. Come meet me if you want the dates. Uh -huh. Where am I? My general direction is, uh, right. Yeah, just walk right. Click. Okay. Damn. I can't be silly. Well, guys, come on. We'll know who he is when we see him. That ain't him. We gotta get, we're gonna have to take a look around. I feel like I can get, like, a secret ending if I go away right now. Hang on. No. Unfortunately, no. All right, come on, guys. All right, fine. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Turn up, boy, get up! Up on your feet, turn up head, we've got business to discuss. You're probably wondering why I called you here. The turn up chinos owned by your father, Don, and the pickled gang have been fighting forever. I don't break tradition easy. I can see in your beady, unchanging eyes that you don't trust me. Just hear me out. Turnipet, ever since you defeated that egomaniac, Mayor Onion, Veggieville has fallen into ruin. There's war, infighting, tax fraud. <laughs> There's only one thing to do at a time like this, and that's to use this opportunity to make money. Money. Your resume of killing a god and arguably the bravest thing you've ever done, commit tax evasion, makes you the perfect turnip for the job. We need your fighting skills on this one if we're gonna rob the biggest bank in the world. What do you say, kid? Family? Tradition? Who cares about that nonsense? Let's just, ma let's just make that bag and get rich, you know? What do you say? You wanna follow in your father's footsteps? Take a job you didn't even ask for? Or do you want to make a name for yourself, Turnip Head? I know what I would do. 
Oh my god. I'm in, dude. The next morning. Alright, turn the pads. Robbing a bank is serious business. I'm glad you decided to work with the pickled gang. But I run a tight ship here, so I ain't gonna tolerate no incompetence. We gotta train you up proper, or we're all gonna end up sleeping with the fishies. So learn how to use them stubby legs of yours and come talk to me when you're ready to shape up, capiche? Okay. Figured it out. You wanna know how to extract some dough from the locals? Huh? You gotta walk up to these dummies and shake them down! And make them rain their riches! Okay. Walk up to three dummies and shake them down with E. I really shake them down. And I, I made $50 off of that. Okay. That's another $50. Okay, I'm actually shaking them until they die. Word on the street is that twin number two shoved a piece in one of the dummies. Go beat the crap out of it and grab it. Okay, this one? Yeah. Okay, that's a real gun. You gotta get used to your full kit, Turner Peg. Get a feel for switching up your weapons. You may need to switch it up on the fly while we're in there. Okay, switch weapons with space. You remember how you landed on your face last night? Huh? You know, how you tripped and ate dirt like a sap? It might come in handy when dodging the fuzzes, bullets, and getting past them lasers. We gotta test you on it, though. Twin number two, hit the lasers! Okay. Oh my god! So, what, right click to trip? Okay, so my dodge is a trip. I just trip. Okay, well. I, that was really easy. You did great, Temshi. Tripping through those lasers like a pro. What do you think the botanical bank is gonna rob itself? Forget about it! Get in the truck, we got work to do! Okay. We did it, guys. We solved everything. Who's this? Hiya, turnip boy. Surprised to see me here? I literally don't know who you are. Who is this? Who is this? Guys, do you guys remember this person? Does anyone know who this is? It's Annie. Yeah, I don't remember them. See, not even turnip boy remembers him. Yeah, Delatini roped me into this. He's giving me way better funding than Mayor Onion was. Somehow us scientists are always working for the mob. Ha ha ha. Uh. Yeah. And who's this guy? Raphael part robo now. It comes with perks. Yeah, I got a better voice for this guy. Raphael part robo now. It comes with perks. He just talks like a normal guy, but with a fun filter on it. Uh? Raphael now have portable gym made from over robo bones. Train hard, Robo Boy. Train hard, Boy Turn Up. You will need it. Okay. That's too much work. I'm not even going to do that for him. I'm just going to. You guys can just read his text on your own. Uh, all right, we're going to go. You guys can just read his text on your own. I don't fucking care about him. What's this? A turn up with a gun? Daring to break into my beautiful establishment on this fine day? Yo, this is music. Ah, not just any turnip. The son of the old Don Turnip Cheeto in the flesh. Oh my god, he knows me. I see you're trying to live up to that fool of legacy. I wonder what he will think about you working with that low-life pickle. It's cute that you think you can waltz in here and mess with me and my crew. You got gumption, I'll give you that. But that ain't gonna hold up in here. I've got the fuzz wrapped around my little garlic chin hairs. Just gotta hit one button to make the call. What's this? You've jammed the airwaves? You're in a world of hurt now, Turnip. You better be ready when that jammer's timer goes off. The fuzz will be swarming when that timer beeps its last bop. Remember my name, Turnip. Stinky, the bank manager. That's gonna put you behind bars. Now make like a banana and get out of here. Oh. All right, Turnip Ed, we only have so much time, so... Get as deep into that bank as vegibly possible, capiche? Oh, I really have three minutes. <laughs> Ow! 
Ow! That guy attacked me. Hey, give me, give me your fucking money. Sixty-three dollars. Hang on. Hey, you. All right, you can't die, which means you're gonna give me all your money. And you give me all your money. Okay. Look at them. They have no idea what to do now. They've lost everything. All right, we made it into the lobby. Oh, what's this? The intel I've gathered says that Stinky has allowed these artisans in here to spruce up the place. <gasps> Us food folks seem to be going through our renaissance era. The old world did as well. So exciting. Okay. Uh, this guy's gotta die. Ow, fuck! Guys, I don't feel so good and I only have two more minutes to solve- uh, Hang on. That cup is worth a hundred dollars. Nice. You there. Give me your money. Can I just steal from these two? Okay, I can just shoot the ATMs. Hey! Easy there, robber. I'm standing here. Oh, you think you can just waltz around here all willy-nilly, huh? Old Stinky wanted me to put in a new mall, but all we had were these wimpy statues. I ain't moving them, so if you're trying to get through, you gotta break them. Good thing you don't have a pickaxe. Destroy Stinky statues with a pickaxe. Okay, well, um, I don't have one of those. Oh, shit. I think I have to move faster. Uh, I stole another thing. I got a bag, guys. It's worth a hundred dollars. Hello. Oh, this painting? Yeah, it's of a famous streamer. Her name is Slay Queen 32 What? Wait. You know her? She commissioned me for this painting. She's going to have it in her background for her stream setup. I'm a huge simp. Okay. You don't really want to say that about yourself. I will say though, she's been a little quiet ever since I started finalizing the design. Do you think you could talk to her about payment? I'm just a little nervous. And you know her, so it might be easy for you to do it, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you so much, you're a lightsaber. Haven't you ever heard of being paid in exposure, idiot? You're not getting paid shit. You're not getting paid shit! Ow, fuck! What the hell is in my... Oh, I got a shotgun. What the... Did this guy die and then I... Okay, well, I got a... I got an automatic machine gun now. We're watching you. Okay. Health kit. Kill that guy. Let's just move. Let's just move as fast as we can. I think we're going too slow. I only have a minute 23 left to finish this whole game. This is where we're expanding the bank. Stinky wants a ton of new space to hoard his treasure. There's a loitering hooligan acorn over there. We gotta tell him to hit the road. Hang on, I gotta... <laughs> I just gotta get rid of all these guys and then I can see about uh, getting some more money. Uh, that's another hundred dollars. That looks like a bell of some kind. How do you like my property? I think it's very nice and cozy. Okay. Well, I hope nothing happens to him. Um, He's fine. We're just gonna leave him here. Guys, I have a minute to finish this! Hey, Turnip Boy! I've been studying the floor plans of the Botanical Bank and I've learned that these elevators are special. See, these elevators lead to completely random rooms. It seems like the bank's security system is wiped to swap them whenever someone breaks in. I think this means we're going to have to rob this place several times to get a full picture. So grab what you need and escape in the truck to get this place to reshuffle. I'm going back, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back, guys. I don't wanna get, I'm gonna get arrested in 55 seconds, guys. Thank you for gifting us up to Slay Queen 32. Oh, hello. I had a friend once. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm a tough nut to crack, boy, but the war has left me a shell of the man I used to be. You look familiar. Do you remember? Which side you were on? I'm getting the fuck out of here. That guy doesn't know where he is right now. <laughs> Got it! Hmm. 
$915 in the bag. All right, rookie. Let me give you the lowdown. Come on over here. Okay. You're pulling in rookie numbers. Rookie. We've got to sweep every inch of this bank. Being stuck in that pickle jar as long as we had been really... As long as we had been really changes your perspective on things, Turniphead. We learned a valuable lesson. The lesson being, sometimes you need to steal to get what you want. This is the last big job, Turniphead. Stinky as the vaults of all vaults somewhere in the botanical bank. We have to find the mysterious mother lord to make this whole thing worth it. To be able to put all this behind us. Go deeper and see what you can find. Hey, Turnip Boy, come over here for a second. I got something that we should talk that we that would come in handy. Okay, I, I, I can come over. Uh, wow, we got a whole setup over here. What's this? Uh, hey. Yeah, um, that avocado said they'd give me money if I stay in a jar filled with this green goop. It's not too bad. I do feel a little tingly. I don't know how long I'm supposed to be in here or how I'm getting out. Wait! Have I been kidnapped? Uh-oh. Welcome to my new lab. Dilatini gave me a good deal for getting you guys on the dark web on the computer over there, so make sure to buy anything you need from it. Uh, from what Dilatini has told me, I'll be using your money to pay for these things? Dilatini says we've got a tight budget. <laughs> so, go check out the dark web and see if there's anything that can be of use. Okay. Alright. Where, where is that over here? Oh, uh, guys, I'm not buying shit from Jeffrey. That guy's got a 4.5 star rating, 69 ratings. But his eyeballs are shaking, guys. Uh, what does he sell? Wait, is that among them too? I fucked it. I fucked it. I broke your PC. Hello. Hello, boy turnip. Raphael, now Robo. Robo Raphael cheated dead. I have bigger gains. Learned how to spell name. Life is good. Nice, man. Come back later for performance enhancers. Nice, man. Goodbye, boy turnip. Nice, man. He's gonna give me drugs, guys. That's actually huge. Hello, Tumshi. Good of you to stop by. As you know by now, my brother and I are notorious weapons dealers. Okay. We supply for all catastrophes of life. Wars, raids, heists, you name it, we cover it. Okay. I'm currently setting up shop. Come back to see our selection later. Okay. Listen here, Parsnip. I'm the brain to this operation. If you want more advanced weaponry, you're gonna have to bring me weapons you find on the streets. Okay. If you pry weapons from the cold, non-existent hands of your enemies and bring them to me, we can start cooking up some real firepower. Good. Now leave me so I can set up. Okay. Robo Raphael keeps saying we're making financial gains when we should be making physical ones. I suppose it doesn't matter. More money for us when we totally, absolutely, for sure split the end profit. We'll be making the real gains when we find Stinky's secret stash. We need to get deeper into the bank first. Make sure you're talking to the locals to get the scoop on what's happening. And don't forget to go to the dark web if you need to buy anything. Okay, I blue screened the PC, so I'm actually fucked on that regard. So I think it's time to just go- I Guys, I guess I just go back to the bank. I'm back. Ow! Fuck! Freaking snail. Alright, we're just gonna grab it. Oh, fuck! Oh, I got a wallet. Alright, let's roll. Let's just get as much as we can and get the hell out of here. So this game kind of works like a roguelike. Uh, secretly. I didn't know that when I first, uh, like, looked into streaming it, but yeah, it actually works like a roguelike. So we're gonna go ahead and just try to make as much money as we can. I still don't know where that influencer is, so I can't help them. We're gonna just try to get as fast, uh, and far in as we can right now. We're just gonna, like, rush it. Past all the rabbits, past that guy, past this dude with a gun, and take the elevator. 
I used to be a kick-flipping, reckless, young individual like yourself. Now I stand here protecting these elevators with my life. That's what I'm trained to do. I dabble in tourism as well. Come back to me if you want little facts about these rooms. Hey, turnip head. Based on our intel, you can't trip over unstable blue wire, blue lasers. There has to be a circuit box you can break to shut them off. Okay, well, where are we? Uh, these are the vast vaults. They're heavily guarded and they have lasers. It's dangerous business. You'll probably need some C4 to get to the grand prize, but there may be some other goodies to yoink here too. Did the elevator operator just advise me to buy C4? I think the elevator operator just advised me to purchase C4 plastic explosives. Okay, man. I mean, I can, yeah, I can do that. You're not fooling anyone with that tourist act. Who else would want to get into the vast vaults but a bank robber? Okay. Well, guys, we can't trip over this. That laser would kill me. I have to go this way. I can trip over these red ones. Yeah. Just skip that guy. Ignore him. I made a big mistake skipping that guy, guys. Oh, shit. I actually kind of took care of it pretty easily. All right, uh, wait. Grab the shotgun. Put these guys down. Keep moving, hello. I heard the electricity had a leak, so I came to check on it. <laughs> Get it? Cause he's a leak. Hmm, that's weird. I haven't seen a single drop of electricity come from the circuit box. Now we can see what's beyond those unstable blue lasers. This seems easy. Maybe too easy. Step on it, turnip head. Okay. I got a minute 45 to do this. <laughs> Not a problem. Dread, I knew this wouldn't be easy. We gotta blow this vault to smithereens. We, do ex we need to express order some C4 on the dark web. Order it when you get back to the warehouse. Okay. I'm going home. Excuse me. Die. So I got nothing to do with this guy. He's just some random dude. I also can't like... Wait, wait, wait. We got a thing here. We got a shoe or something here. I don't know what that is. But it's going in the back. We'll just leave, guys. We're just gonna call it a day on this one. We'll grab whatever's in these uh, display cases and ATMs quick, and then we're getting the hell out of here. Come on. Skip that guy. We'll let him live. All right. Another $810 in the bag. Parsnip. I'm all set up. Come over here. Okay. Listen, Parsnip. We got a means of making new weapons now. I'm all set up. All right, let me put it this way. All you gotta do is bring me some of those crummy weapons you find in the bank, and I'll make better ones. Go check out my blueprint board to see the genius behind it. Okay. Don would be proud of you, but he would be more proud of you if he had cooler guns. I'm gonna recycle both of these guns, and nothing happens. Because I don't have enough XP still. So I guess I have to bring out another new gun. And then I can learn how to make an Uzi. Okay. Ah, Tumshi, great timing. Come here. Okay. Hello, my friend. I am now your honorary gun dealer. You want to change your loadout? Check out my weapon rack. It's the most beautiful kind of rack there is. Okay. I got a pistol and I have my sword. Copy that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to buy something on the dark web, and this time I'm not going to click on Squid Spotted. Uh, let's see. A pickaxe is going to cost me 1.5k. Or I could buy C4 and a laser pointer. God, I really want to buy the haunted brick, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. It's sold out. I don't think Jeffrey's going to get a new one anytime soon. 
Uh, C4, laser pointer, buy him. Nice. All right. So are those just in my inventory now? I don't know how to turn on the laser pointer. How, do, how does that work? Uh, look, Turnip Boy, I'm helping out for the funding, but there's a lot of secrets within this bank. As the brains of this operation, and having an insatiable need to quench my curiosity, I need to try to uncover these secrets. I have a feeling this isn't just a bank. Most of the structures from the old world, Stinky just has just been building onto it. Why is he here? What's his plan? I need you to catalog anything that you think is strange. Just snap a photo on your phone. At photo spots, an album app will appear on your phone so you can look at what you've captured. We'll crack the code to this bank in no time. I don't know. I don't own a phone. Girl, I don't own a phone. What do you mean? Oh, shit. I do own a phone. You told me that was coming out of my phone this whole time? I didn't know I owned a phone. I got a fashion? Bald. Bald. It's a hat. What else we got? Little guy. Bald. He's gonna be bald. Inventory. Nice. Oh, this is a laser pointer for cutting through safes. It's not a laser pointer for aiming. Map. I don't have a map yet. Tasks. I take a bunch of pictures. Inbox. I got a hat from the... To you. Stop breaking everything we build. They sent me a new hat. I have no mail. Frowny face. Okay. Progress. Okay. Alright guys, well... Okay, we already read this. Uh, we are going to... Guys, we gotta go get that freaking vault opened now. And we're gonna do it while bald. Come on. I'm in. Wait. Turn on big tune. Now that's the kind of track I rob a bank to. That's the kind of track I'll kill a freaking snail to. Give me all your fucking money. And give me all your, give me, is that a freaking smartphone? That's mine. And give me all your money. And you over there, give me all your fucking money. Okay, thank you, bye. Wait, what if I don't kill anyone? What if I choose peace this run? They ask me not to break their stuff. What if I also don't break their bones? What if I just try to be nice and friendly? Take what I need, but no more. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to kill. Ugh, office workers. <laughs> These chumps will never know the adrenaline of true crime lifestyle. Maybe we can bring some excitement to their lives, eh, turnip head? See if there's anything else of value here, capiche? Wait, I'm not in the same place? Where am I? These fools. With their keyboard clacks and their mediocre coffee. I got a PhD in elevator repair and a minor in tourism. I am educated, living my best life. Okay, man. Uh, where am I? I don't know. And that guy wasn't very helpful. Give me all your fucking money. No, don't kill that guy. I mean, I'm doing a peaceful run. I'm gonna fucking have to kill people in a second. It's bad. There's, there is places crawling with cops. Hey. Hi, turn up boy. It's so nice to meet you. Ravioli. Guys, look. It's Ravioli. Guys. I'm a big fan. I even followed your tax evasion arc. We know them, guys. Wait a minute. Did they copy my look? Wait a minute. Did this little shit copy my look? You must think you're freaking hot shit or something to be copying my look. Parasocial as hell, man. I cringe. Anyways, I need you to do me a favor, and you seem like the person for the job. This nasty, disgusting, waste of space pierogi stole my good food certificate. Oh! 
It's how people know that I'm good and that revolting pierogi isn't. Can you please get it back for me? Dude, pierogies fucking suck. Except for the ones I had recently from a place that makes pierogies specifically, and it was pretty good. I said that to make people angry. I actually had a really good pierogi or two the other day, dude. Holy shit. And like a whole, and like a whole kielbasa. Holy fuck. Bro. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Get me out of here. Oh, fuck. Ooh. My money. Oh, I still made some. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to kill these people this time. I got bad news. Hello, boy turn up. It's performance enhancer time. Come here. Guys, it's time to do drugs. Guys. Boy turn up. Roboroid set up now. Make boy turn up big and strong. Go look. Okay. Wow. I get some way. Increases my damage. Uh, increases luck for finding better guns. I can get. I can boost my max hearts. A fish, dude. Fuck all. Wait, 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 wait. Money bag increases money. Boy turn up can hold. I feel like I have to get that, and then I'm gonna buy uh, merch. Dude. Holy shit! Look at that. Look at this trip. All right, let's go. I boosted the size of my wallet, and I'm ready to kill everyone in this fucking building. Yep. All right, let's do this by the books this time. I'm gonna have to kill everyone I see, because whenever I don't, they shoot at me. They ruin my whole deal. Give me your fucking money. Did I get a pickaxe? No, I have the C4, though, and the lasers I need. Oh. There's an elevator right there. Ah, yes, exactly where I need to be. The blue laser's still active, so let's go turn that off and then I'm cutting into this fucking vault. Wait, 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 give me that. I have to recycle this later. Ha! Just gotta move quickly. Boom. Heal. Kill that guy. Kill those two. Just kill everyone. Ah! 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 Okay, guys, I got stuck on the laser right there. That was almost really bad. My God, turn up boy almost got freaking bisected. Hey, Leek. Okay, bye. L. Guys, I'm not catching any L's today. Matter of fact, I would ask you all to be nice to me today. You have no idea. Wait, is this a golden box? You have no idea. All right, how much... How, how much your words can hurt me, guys. You have no idea. Tomato was my role model growing up. Lol crying emoji. Still is. Was? Oh, I like how you corrected it. I like how you corrected it. And also, I'm, I, I am sorry that you didn't have better options. I'm also sorry that we have to ask uh, if you're 18 or older right now. Mods, get to the bottom of it. Get to the bottom of it. Answer honestly. Answer honestly. Yeah, 18, man. Narrows eyes. Well, we did everything we could. All right, guys. <laughs> we, we actually can't. We, we did everything that's in our power to make sure, and now it's out of my hands. Welcome. Blow up that vault door with C4, and all that dough will be my, I mean, ours. That fool Stinky won't know we hit him. Okay. <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna fucking kill Turnip Boy. Give me all this shit. That diamond is worth two hundred dollars. That's it. Okay. Well, uh, time to go. 
The diamond's ours, chat. Let's get the hell out of here. And by let's get the hell out of here, I mean let's also take whatever's over here. We still have a minute. I don't know how big my wallet is. I don't know how much I can fit. Where the hell am I? Wait, 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 wait. Where am I? Well, I may be an elevator repairman. I'm also somewhat of a tour guide. These are the vast vaults. Oh, wait. Have I been? He's just giving me, he's just giving me the same spiel again. Did I go in a fucking circle? Uh, ah! Oh! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Oh! Just go, go! Oh! Quiet. Ah! No! My money! <laughs> Guys. I am not doing well. At least I got this really freaking bumping soundtrack right now on this one. Holy shit, let's fucking heist. Die! Why'd my guy burp? <laughs> why why do he burp like that? Okay, I don't know where I am. I'm just gonna keep moving. Oh, it's healing. Oh! Die! Oh, what's this? Give me a fucking money. Just drop it. All right. Hey, bud. Look, um, scram. You get me in trouble. Where's that stupid melon anyways? Okay, okay. Fine. Since you're so nosy, I was going to meet a co-worker of mine, a melon slice, in one of the vaults, but it seems like he got lost. I have a package I was supposed to deliver it to him. It's a rare artifact and highly illegal. It seems like you get around, Turnip. Could you deliver this for me? Congratulations. Is that a Garfield mug? Fuck okay. you. Okay, thank you. Who the hell is this? Oh! What the fuck? Please communication with me now, earthling vegetable. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Well, this place was a fucking waste of my goddamn time. Unless I go this way and open this vault. We're making great time. Boom. Diamond. Let's go. Next door, gun it. Grab that. Wait, did nothing come out? Pick that trash up. Kill this guy. Boom, boom, bam. Kill him. We were all. We're getting two diamonds. I'm not going. I've I've caught enough elves. Today is the day I catch a huge W. Come on. Where are we? These fools. Oh, we're in that. We're in the offices. Hello. Hey there, sweet pea. Have you seen my hubby? His memory ain't what it used to be. He said he was gonna be here hours ago. This visit meant so much to me, mostly because he has our divorce papers. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh. Could you find him and... Get them for me, hun. Okay. Oh, fuck. Look out, Mima. You come prepared, turnip head? That laser pointer should make quick work of that safe. Okay, stop calling me. Thank you. I'm in. What is this funny, silly music playing? 
can't focus on the game like this. I can't, I guys, I can't focus on the game with music like that. You guys know what I mean, right? You guys, you guys know what I mean, right? Let's fucking roll. We got a bank to steal from, guys. Rob it. Boom, got him. A hundred million dollars to throw. Oh! Yes! Hello. Stop! Shut the fuck up. Shut, shut up. I was born here. Ow, fuck. This game kind of nasty sounding when there's no music. What the fuck is this? Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn back on. I'm gonna pick a nice new track. I have 34 seconds to get out of here. Guys, I may have gotten a little distracted. Give me all your fucking money. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Piece of cake. All right. That's a lot of money. 12, sorry, $1,700 in the bag. That's a W. We don't get a lot of those. I'm gonna recycle this weird thing I found, which unlocked the SMG. Yep. Toss it in. Look at that kick. I had DPS meter in this game, Jesus. All right, well, I'm going to choose to purchase a pickaxe now from the dark web from Jeffrey. XXX hot kazoo. <laughs> everyone, everyone look away. Whoa, what? Oh, it's, never mind. Uh, can I afford anything over here? No, yes. Get a uh, gamer cups. <sighs> okay. Uh, increases distance to the boy turnip of boy turnip trip. Not bad. All right, let's roll. We got the pickaxe. We can open the main door now. Oh my god, look at that big guy. This guy's got money. Guys, you can tell these guys got money. Thank god we get a bunch of free cash every single time we go into this freaking place. Kill these idiots right away. Pick this open. And we get a, a 3D cube for this, guys. Uh, very valuable on the market. You get a 3D cube. We get a cube. Come on. Hello. Ah, good. Ah, good old classic vandalism. Oh, that convenient photo sign reminds me that we should definitely be catalog cataloging the start of this uprising. Snap a pic. Okay. Got it. Nice. That's good. Hello. Oh, you're Turnip Boy, right? Graffiti guy has said a lot of good things about you. I'm his new apprentice, trying to learn all the ropes, you know? The fine arts around here are really harshing my vibe, though. Would you help uh, me uh, make um, additions to these pieces on the wall? I can give you the ultimate graffitiing tool to get the job done. Mark up all the paintings in this foyer. And I'll grade your stuff when you get back. Tag all the paintings with red crayon. Got it. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you. Listen, I need some help. I gotta finish this statue. This is a big deal. This guy, he thinks for a living. This is my shot to get into the same circle as this guy, but there's a problem. I need some illegal substances to pull this off. You know, wood. It's the only substance that'll make... That'll be best to make a plaque for this bad boy. Will you help me? Please help me. You're sick. 
There's a shady guy deeper in the bank somewhere that has <laughs> stuff. Secure the goods and I'll make it worth your while. Mm, mm, uh, yes, mm, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. I have a lot of opinions. Oh, guys, look, it's chat. Guys, it's you. Wait. I really want this statue to portray how much I think cool thoughts on the daily. Leave me the thunk in peace. Okay. Ha! Ha! A hundred dollars in the bag. All you ever hear Stinky talking about these days is how he wants this place to keep getting bigger and bigger. It's like he lost his roots. A bank shouldn't need to be this big. I can't complain though. It's great for us contractors. This song is a certified bop. All right, I'm gonna be honest. That song is a certified bop. Did I, did I just get, is everything done? Are we good here? What? I gotta talk to this guy, right? With the red crayon in hand, you can do anything, such as graffitiing ancient historical art from the old world. I think that's pretty based. Don't fucking say that to me. Let me know when you've tagged all the paintings in this foyer. I gotta tag more freaking paintings is the problem, guys. There's more. Boom. Bam. Wait a minute. Give me your fucking money. Nothing over there. Fuck, it's, it's all, wait, I got it. That's it. That was the last one. We go back now. Hey, hey. Hey. Ah, yes. The finest of art. Devil horns, squiggles, and mustaches galore. You did great, Turnip Boy. Here's a hat. When you're done with all this bank robbing biz, maybe we can hang out sometime. Sorry, dude. I'm busy all the time. Bye. Sorry, bro. I'm going to be busy that day. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I still got a minute 23 to solve some of these freaking zones. I still got time to. Ow, fuck. Oh, fuck. We can do this so. Ow, oh, fuck. I can't do it, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this. Wait. Can I break that gold statue? Oh, I can pick it open. I can destroy it. Give me a cube. Guys, that's a golden freaking cube. It defies the very laws of this realm. Okay, so I still have to deliver that mug. I got 50 seconds. I'm gonna go get the safe. Wherever the I don't need to talk to that guy. I forgot he's a psycho. Uh, we have to get the safe quickly. And then we're out of here. Before the cops get here and fucking kill me. Come on. I'm in. Alright. 200 bucks. Let's get the fuck out of here. Is there like a golden statue? To oh, fuck! Ugh. That rabbit freaking bit me. Chaos Emerald. Dude, if only we could be so lucky. Good amount of money. $1,500 in the bag. Okay. Eh. Stinky seems to have a pretty bad reputation here. There have been a lot of refugees coming to the Botanical Bank for shelter after the war. Seems like Stinky doesn't love the idea of people moseying into his space without his permission. Yeah, he's definitely not going to like us then. Okay, well, I guess Jeffrey is out of things to sell me. Fucking useless piece of shit. So I'm going to go ahead and just, just buy some upgrades off of this thing. Uh, pull trigger faster. I can make my wallet larger. I can also increase luck for find finding better guns. I mean, it feels like I need health. And luck sounds good, too. We'll get those two things. Hang on. Skip this. No, 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 no. Can I sacrifice any of my stuff? No. Let's get the hell back out of there. 
The war? Yeah, Chet, that, don't forget in the lore, a great civil war broke out m like the day after Turnip Boy killed God. I guess when you see God die, suddenly everything starts to like, everything comes into perspective in a different way. And a lot of people rose up and started killing each other. Like things changed. He did what? He killed God. That happened in the last game. That's real. That actually, that was real, guys. I'm not making that up. That actually happened. And you know what the worst part is? He was wearing merch and simultaneously had that big smile on his face when he did it. Think about that. Think about the kind of, like the way that would change your outlook on life. Loads of money, guys. Boatloads of cash coming out of this loot run. What is this? Oh, it's just a box. Just a bunch of fucking trashy boxes. Oh, there's a dude over there. Hang on. Wait a minute. Who's this? Hey, man. You wouldn't happen to have a spare XGR 9030, would you? My boss took my old GPU, and I desperately need to mine more butt coin. Dude, you need help. You need help, man. No one's going to be getting that. Can you maybe track him down and bring it back to me? He's a green bean. Wait, no, he's a bean in a green suit. Y you'll know him from his dumb top hat and condescending tone. Okay. I'm gonna need to get that GPU for him then. When I find him. If I ever do. Dude, it is hard to dodge attacks. When you're not clicking the dodge button or trying. You the guy? No, that's just some fat potato piece of shit. Whatever. Making a boatload of money out of this run. Let's move. We're going this way then. Oh, hey. I don't think I... I don't think I can uh, do anything with this guy yet. He's just asking me about the war. I don't believe Turnip Boy fought in the war. I do not believe Turnip Boy had any part to play in the war. Hang on, but I can harvest these statues, though, for cash money. Yes. This is a lot of cubes, guys. We're gonna get a lot of cubes out of this. Oh my god. Look at all these cubes, man! This guy's got nothing to say to me. I still have a minute to clear more of this place. I feel like I'm making a big mistake and I'm overcommitting, but I'm gonna keep rolling. I have to go at 30 seconds. I have to start running. I still have more time. We can still make more money. I, I'm gonna get from this safe and then we're going. Go! Oh, fuck. Fuck you, man. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, we could have left way late. 18. Oh, correction, sorry. $3,100 in the bag. Not bad. Not bad at all, chat. We're making a lot of money out of this. Can I sacrifice this thing? Nice. And what kind of upgrades can we get? Increases melee damage. I don't use melee weapons. Bullets do more damage. That sounds good. And I'm also going to boost my fire rate. Damn, this guy's doing 6.82. Damn, this guy's doing 7.8 DPS, dude. Main DPS. All right. I do a lot of output. You need me on the raid team. You need me on the raid team. You have no idea. You're never going to clear the boss without me on the raid team. Have you seen how quickly I shake down the ads for money? It's quickly. It's very fast. Give me your fucking money. See that? Quick. Now, yes, I eat most mechanics that come my way, but who doesn't? All right? 
That's the that'd be the healer's job. Okay, to deal with that. Just look at the DPS parses. All right, have you seen my patchwork? Dude, have you seen my patchwork? Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! Drop it! I'm a heal main. Dude, listen, all you have, all the healers have to do is learn one simple fucking word, and it's called adjust. Adjust for me, all right? You're not killing the boss, are you? All right? You're not doing shit for keeping me alive. I'm giving you more stuff to do. You're welcome. You're welcome. Get out of the fire, please. Use one of your many tools given by the devs to pull me out of the fire. Every MMO has it. All right, I'm gonna do my eight DPS. Okay, and you're gonna shut your fucking mouth. Boy turn up, big boss up ahead. Be prepared. I have time. I'm napping here, intruder. You start causing trouble, I'll have to slice you up into turnip fries. Yeehaw! Okay. I'm gonna kill him. You asked for it. Time to fry up some turnips. All right, turnip head. You defeated a god. You can defeat this chump easy. You're a one turnip army, mostly because I don't want to do it myself and my team is doing their team things, important stuff. It takes a crew to run a ship, turnip. You're the cannons. This chump seems a bit frayed around the edges. Go finish the job. The Sergeant Yeehaw. Oh, fuck! Guys, the timer stopped. I don't have to rush. I can be careful. I'm getting stuck in the walls! This fish is an incredibly powerful weapon. How do I know how much- Oh, I see his health. Okay, cool. Old Stinky hired us to keep this here bank and its secret safe. Get him, boys! Yeehaw! Okay, it's just a bunch of bacon. Okay, it's not, guys. It's not that bad. Guys, it's, most of these... Most of these enemies are pretty much useless. Only this guy's really a threat. And I have this Uzi that does a million billion damage. I think I got him. The, mo the donuts especially are mostly pathetic and are dropping heals faster than they're damaging me. So I think it's gonna be okay. All right, cowboy. I'm giving you one last shot to surrender here. So drop your gun and stick your hands up. Wait, we don't have hands. Never mind. Get them, boys. Yeehaw! He pulled out a fucking sniper rifle. Oh, fuck. One of these days, I'll use my dodge function, but that day won't be on a fight like this. All right, I'll tell you that right now. I'm not gonna fucking need it. Dang it, cowboy. You got me. All right, what are you gonna blow up? Holy shit, he really blew up. I'm being timed on this. Hang on, give me that. Th thank you. Allows you to open green doors labeled with the number one. Okay. And I'm gonna take this. That's pretty good. Maybe I keep this? I uh, Guys, I'm not refunding that. I'm actually gonna keep that for myself. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm gonna refund it. I want a shotgun. And that? is $2,900 in the bag. What are you doing here, rookie? Is that chump giving you a hard time? This should be a breeze for you. All right, all right, it's your first heist, so you get a pass. If you need anything to help you, make sure you're talking to the crew. You gotta get rid of that chump, yee-haw. He's always spewing nonsense, blah, 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 tried to fry me up, blah, blah, blah. His head is a bit sliced up, but you need to do the rest. I already killed him, I have his gun in my hand. 
the healers have to adjust, dude. Have you seen how much damage the main DPS is doing? He's doing 15 DPS a second, dude. Okay, never mind. He's he respect. <laughs> Wait, I think the, I think the main DPS just respect, guys. Dude. He switched from marksman hunter to survival, bro. He switched mid pull. Dude, take him from the raid. <laughs> Kick him. <laughs> we got ourselves a shotgun, guys. Bro, he's doing like a quarter of what he used to. Oh, dude! Wait, we almost got, for a second we had 19 DPS. He's got a crazy burst phase, bro. His burst is insane, dude! <laughs> okay, well, time to move on, guys. Let's rock and roll. I've never had much of an artistic eye for photography, but photos for science I'm all for. Keep taking all the photos you can and bring them back to me to discuss them. Guys? Jeffrey's got a new thing on sale, a lantern for 12k. Uh, I don't really care about melee. Adds an additional minute to the timer. That's actually crazy. We're gonna do that. Time to get some work done. Shake him down. The fuck out of here. The shotgun. Now this is my weapon, guys. Aside from the fact that the bullets slow down after about a fucking half foot of travel time. That part, less ideal. Do I have to kill the guy again? Look, partner. Contractually, I'm set. My contract says I gotta fight you at least one time. Only once. Other than that, I'm napping. If you broke me again, turn up. I'll go. Kitty mode. What the fuck did you just say to me? Try me, Turnip! Alright, Turnip! You asked for it! You wanna disturb my nap? Uh-oh, guys. He's going kitty mode. And by that, he means no more threatening than last time. By that he means truly no more threatening. The troops don't believe me, the goblins are real. What the fuck is this guy talking about? What the fuck is this guy talking about? Dude, I'm fucking taking this guy to the goddamn cleaners. Again. Ow, fuck, ow, fuck. Wait! 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 Wait, I lived. Ow! Oh, at least I don't at least I know I don't have to kill this guy. I still made five hundred dollars. Dude! <laughs> I knew we weren't ready for Mythic, bro! We're not ready, dude! <laughs> Where's my fucking Oh, there we go. Imagine dying in kitty mode. Chat, that's a hot, it's hot. Guys! The amount of time it takes to even unlock kitty mode in the, in the freaking MMO is like 50 real world days, okay? People die before they attune their freaking character for kitty mode, all right? I, no one, no, there isn't even a guilt that's beat the fucking raid. You don't understand anything about anything. Wait, this isn't even the right way. Where am I going? Where the hell am I? Hang on. Do I like go through this room and then just go past the guy? I haven't seen a place where green key card goes. Excuse me. Ah, there we go. 
You've bested my sheriff. Oh wait, this guy doesn't talk like this. I may need to renegotiate that fool's contract. Oh, turn it, boy. I see you found my greatest failure. I've been trying to eradicate these freeloaders out of my bank, but they insist that this is their new society, the seed stock. Isn't that ludicrous? They always insist on using alliteration. I see why Onion wanted to tax the crap out of them. I built the ground they walk on! You better make like a tree and split if you know what's good for you. You won't be here for too long. I got the fuzz in my arsenal. Watch yourself, Turnip. What is this? It looks like the old Veggieville townies have set up shop here after your little exploration and government takeover and war. A lot of them didn't have many places to go. They all moved here. Ugh. All right, rookie. Just try talking to them to get the scoop. Explore around a little bit. Kill things to get in your way the usual. Give me all your fucking money. And you, old man, give me all your fucking money. What the? What are you doing? Put me down! Don't you dare shake me again! Come back over here right now. I fucking recognize. My wife said she didn't see. I know 90% of food folk marriages end in divorce, but we could be that 10%. Just do the fucking thing. Okay, okay, fine. Here they are. Tell her she's a big meanie. And I hope she's happy. Dang, they're laminated. Can't rip this. D laminated divorce papers. All right, we got them. You know, I feel like you shaking the bejeebus out of me actually helped my back problems. Feel free to continue. Okay. Oh, I can't shake him again. I've ruined their marriage. I mean, their marriage is already ruined, all right? It was already over. Hey, man. Now, I'm a little bummed out because my good old friend who used to live in the red tent there moved away. He was one of my best friends, man. Hopefully, I can find him on Flip Flop. I think these cultists are going to drop the property values around here. I don't know if it's going to be filled anytime soon. Oh, yeah. I found a wallet in the corner. It's fun. Hello. I'm being enthusiastic and like what the fuck? You now can trust me. What the fuck? Oh, hi, Turnip Boy. You haven't happened to see an acorn around here. They haven't made their loan payment yet, and it's due today. The market's been kind of shaky after you-know-who died and, you know, the war. The war. Yeah. Can you bring this uh, to them if you see them? Congratulations. Whoa, I found loan payment. It's also laminated. They're learning. You know, back in Turnip Boy's day, he just grabbed the paper and tore it up no problem because it wasn't laminated. Now they're laminating all of it. Now you can't tear up tax forms. Okay. Turnip Boy, oh my much, you're alive. This is great news because I need help. Look, I feel pretty dumb. I should have made a move a lot sooner with Strawberry. With everything that's gone on, I feel like we need to take this serious quick. I read some old world texts that they used to give each other rings to show how much they love each other. Materialism at its finest. Could you help me find a ring so I can propose to Strawberry? We've already moved around so much, I want to make sure that she knows I'm in this for the long haul. It needs to have a big gem on it. Massive! The bigger it is, the more I love her. That's how it works, Turnip Boy. Whoa! TB, it's been so long. I'm glad you got out of the war a lot. <laughs> they really focus on the war a lot now. What the fuck happened in that one day the war went on? That war only lasted a day, guys. The entire last game happened two days ago. We barely made it out ourselves. It's a good thing we landed here safe and sound. Oh yeah, the florist and I... <laughs> Share a tent now. I know, I know. Some people think we're moving too fast, but it's already been two days. Why wait? You may have ripped my love letter to her, but I do thank you for connecting us. You're a real Cupid. Yeah, in the last game, Turnip Boy got given a love letter by them and ripped it in half right in front of them. And then proceeded to cause a civil war. 
freaking worm. Give me that. Hang on, what's this over here? Who's this? Shoo! The crime rate has been rising fast in these parts, I tell you what. First it was tox and tax evading. Then that no good grapefruit in their war. And now we've got a good old classic bank robbery on our hands. Gosh darn tootin' my me, my peepa be turning in their graves. Now I'm glad I got to meet the legend in the flesh. I'll tip my hat to you, sir. I'll be telling the youngins about tales of the turnip boy for days to come. Whole days. Hello, fellow food folk. How are you, this fine food folk today? What the fuck? Look, I know what you're thinking. I get it. My friend here, he's ugly. Who cares, bro? Get over it. I wish I could tell him he's ugly, but he's new here, okay? What am I supposed to say? You look gross? Uncanny? Nah, bro, I can't do it. You can't make me. He's just gonna have to find out on his own. True. Freaking worms. Die. Five hundred dollars. Okay, guys. The, the law enforcement has picked up their game. They are firing a lot faster now. We're gonna have to be careful. Hello. Listen, bud. We're sleeping in the blue tent tonight, all right? Tent go up. I want uppies. Red tent only. It's okay. I'll end up wanting to go in the blue tent once I want to go in the red tent. Okay. We got more stuff in here. More cash. Oh, where's this elevator tape? Oh, hey. It's you! I can't even look at you right now. How can you <clears throat> me after what you've done? You killed my grandmother, Cran Cran. Don't know who that is. Turn up, boy. When you speak real words, you send people to the other side. Your voice rips the soul from them and sends them deep into the depths of the afterlife. When you told my grandmother to stop with her shenanigans, that's what happened to her right after you spoke to her. Oh my God. The one time he spoke, I remember now, he fucking killed that guy. That's real. That's real, that happened. Her soul took 24 hours to explode. I watched her slowly fade away. She's on the other side because of you. Look, I know you can't help being an eldritch horror, but if you're gonna make up, make up, make this up to me and her, you're gonna have to do me a favor. I have her favorite manhwa on me right now. It's the renowned, I reincarnated in your fantasy world as an alien worm from outer space. It's got all, it's got it all. Drama, space, romance, worms. <laughs> you have to go to the other side and deliver this to her. It's the only way I'll know her soul is resting peacefully. Congratulations. Okay. Whoa, I found Manwa. I reincarnated into a fantasy world as a alien worm from outer space. Okay. I don't know how to get there, but I'll try. Well, I'll keep you posted on how, how I figure that one out. You remember Conductor Onion, right, Turnip Boy? Stinky must have a, must have cut a deal with him to get the limitless line in the bank. It makes sense. Stinky has made so many rooms, added so many rooms to this bank that it's starting to get hard to traverse in a timely manner. Just buy a ticket through the app or the kiosk and exit the bank from any station. Oh, that's awesome. Rad. So how much does that cost me? $250! Fuck you. You're not, you're not freaking, you're not food. I mean, you are, but like you're, isn't everything else like a freaking vegetable or fruit? Like something, something pure? Pasta? What are you, some... Some byproduct? Your name's Mac? No, you're not a camper. 
I'm so sick of all these people who think they're campers. No, you're not. Most of you aren't even close to being campers. I see these people saying, I put well over 100 hours into camping and it's great. That's nothing. Most of us can easily put 300 plus hours into camping. I see people who've only had their backpack and claim to be campers. Come talk to me when you pick up a sweet tent like mine and then we can be friends. Sincerely, all of the actual campers. Okay. Okay, thank you. I gotta ditch this for the spear now, guys. Die. Spear's pretty good. I'm gonna keep going. Where the fuck am I? Oh my god, it's Slay Queen 32. Guys! It's Slay Queen 32! Sup, Slay King? What's popping? You have to make it quick though, I'm still on stream. Oh. Oh, uh, yes, the painter. I need to pay her. Okay, give me a sec. I can't wait to see my portrait. It's going right behind me so people on stream can see it. Here, this should suffice. A shout out on my channel is all she really needs to kick off her career. Yeah? Yo? Yeah? Oh. Congratulations. Oh my god! Exposure bucks! It's worthless! Guys! Holy shit, it's real! Okay. Thank you. While I may be an elevator repair man, I'm also somewhat of a tour guide. Oh, I'm still on this thing? Hang on, shut the fuck up, old man. Whoa! Still got a minute 23. This pays for my freaking train ticket later. I'm gonna loop back around to pick that up on my way out. We gotta keep moving. We gotta move quick. What is this? Oh, it's another item. It's a bomb. 103. 101. We gotta move! All right, that may be $1,000, that fucking thing. I feel like my wallet's gonna get full soon. It's time to go. I'm gonna check this last corner. Hey. Uh, have you seen a kiwi around? He has something of great importance to me. Wait, you're delivering it? He must have gotten lost. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Here, take this. It'll help you in the future when you're doing illegal things. No one ever suspects the person with the hard hat. Okay. Thank you. 47 seconds. We gotta move. Will we have time to do the last part of this? Before I have to leave. Yes, we will. Open this, steal what we can from the vault, and then we're out of here. Maybe the most massive W we've sustained. Let's roll. Yep, we're gonna take the train. Cool. Guys. Nine thousand dollars in the bag. I'm gonna recycle all these. Boom, bam. Which of course unlocks turn up boy the assault rifle. Dude, your DPS sucks now, dude. I didn't want to tell you. We actually raided without you last night, dude. We did it without you, bro. Your DPS sucks, dude. You washed up, dude. Your class got nerfed, dude. It's not your fault, but we couldn't bring you, dude. Didn't have the strength to tell you. Sorry, dude. Oh. Don't bring the bow to <laughs> Dude, that, that, that's me doing the Destiny 2 raid with freaking. <laughs> Dude, I remember doing that shit. I brought that. I brought that bow to the Destiny 2 raid, and they just. We were doing fine. I was having fun. What's wrong with having fun? What's wrong with having fun? It's not a. It wasn't a DPS check. I was having fun. This whole thing is so much more than I anticipated, rookie. 
We gotta step it up. No, you gotta step it up. Fun is illegal. He's holding... Look, all I'm gonna say is that it's coincidence. We had a lot of practice, all right? It's pure coincidence that the moment I switched off of that bow, we finished the uh, encounter. That's... It's coincidence. That's not on me. It's not on me. It's bullshit is what it is. Whatever, dude. Keep exploring the seed stock to see how we can move forward, but there's gotta be a way to get deeper into the bank. Chop, chop. How much is that lantern? 12K. I feel like I should save up for it, but then again, I made a boatload of money last time. Uh, I want to boost my fire rate more. Guys, I'm going to boost my freaking DPS by raising my fire rate. Then everyone, then I'm going to, then it's going to be fine. Check it out. Check out my DPS now. Dude. It's okay to cancel your subscription, dude, and come back next expansion. We'll still be here. You'll still have a place in the guild, bro. <laughs> we'll still be here, dude. Come on, Brackley. Give me your money. I'm not sure why I'm still shaking down these idiots at the front. I should go straight to the back. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, thank the mush. I was trying to play it cool, but you stopped talking to me. I have so many bills now. Rent. Food. Wait. What's this? Exposure box? Wait, can I buy anything with this? Well, uh, I have figured something out now. Uh, here, take this extra hat. I have no money to give you anyways, so I got. Wow, guys. An artist hat. It's useless. Wow, bye. Waste of my fucking time. Where the hell are we? Wait, what is this place? Why is there skulls and bodies over there? Excuse me. A cube. Well, I'm not going to complain about the AR. This thing is quite effective. So I don't know how I'm going to... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. She had... My grandmother was a big inspiration for me to get into drawing. She was quite the artist. Now I have trauma because of you. Maybe this will fuel me as an artist? Look, just go give her the manhwa. It's the least you can do for me after sending her to the other side. Okay, I mean, I still don't know how. But if I can figure it out, I'll, I'll do that. As soon as I collect more cubes. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. A new visitor. I've been waiting for someone to join my movement for a long time now. It's been so long since I've seen a new face. Oh, what's that? You don't have yourself a cardboard box? I'm afraid I can't let you in without one, my sweet child. Once you have opened your mind, body, and soul in acceptance of our rectangular overlords, I will allow you to pass. I need to buy a cardboard box on the dark web. I'm going into the fire zone. What did you say? It's so loud in here. Kind of a bop though, not going to lie. I wonder if there's more music. Hey oh, what's popping, flip floppers? What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? Give it up for DJ Sizzle. Thanks for bringing the life to the party. Take my patented soul sampler, yo. You can slash up those ungnarly fuzz and trade me their souls for some sick beats. I'm only giving you this scythe once as a special DJ Sizzle promotion. After that, you gotta hit up the music box for some soul-stealing weapons. You looking for more fun? How about using some extra souls on the mystery box? 
You may get lucky with some crazy weapons. Harvest souls for DJ Sizzle. Okay, thanks. Fuck, I can't harvest his soul. Then what's the fucking point of it? Okay, well, I'm gonna buy... Dude, it's worthless. Okay, let's go. Give me your soul. Your soul, damn it. I don't have upgrades for my melee weapon, so I'm really kind of a waste of my time to do this shit right now. But I guess if I get 10 souls, I can run them back over quick and I will make a, I'll get like a new unlock. That's pretty neato. Come on guys, let's kill this pathetic worm. Come on guys, let's kill this other pathetic worm. All these horrible, pathetic worms. Don't I have to bring a freaking? I have to bring a property thing to some dude near the entrance. I guess I'll just go do that. Then I'm gonna take the shortcut back around. The acorn? Remember the acorn? Die, freak! You two die! Your soul's mine! Yours too! Yes. Yours as well? Not this guy. Not the, not the veteran. It's the acorn guy in the other hall. Die. 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 You! Hey, Turnip. Why are you on my land? Um, I don't have money. Here, take my scalp and tears. I'm not sure if they just filled this or if they had it on standby. Okay. Okay. Well, just gotta bring that back. It looks like everything worked out in the end. Thank God. Worried I'd have to kill them, take their soul or something. Uh, it looks like, it seems like things are gonna be okay. Where's this guy? Where the fuck are we? This is a closed community. Get lost, freak. Unless you have a certain something to say, you won't be allowed in. Look, if you're that serious about getting in, go talk to one of our recruiters down by the seed stock. There are plenty of information about our prospering community. May mush be with you always. Day one of working here, these cult weirdos approached me about joining their little community. They kept on asking me to do things for them, and the great mush would grant me all I could ever desire. What's more, what, what more is there to life than standing here and waiting for folks to break into this elevator? I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Well, I got a minute left to get this done. I'm gonna drop out these souls, and I should have time to take the uh, actual exit to this place instead of the uh, train. Where the fuck is the thing? Oh, it's here. Where the fuck am I? I don't know where I is. Oh, it's here. I got it. You've got a ton of death on your hands, T-Boss. That's evident from these wacky souls you bought me. As a reward for these souls, here's my new hit, Death Rave 3000. Dude, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Is that the same fucking hat I already have? I believe I already had this. Fuck! Oh, the timer's still going down! Run! We'll have to take this way. I don't think I'd make it. Well, we got new music. Okay, we made plenty of money. $4,000 in the bag. Um, I'm gonna boost my melee damage, I guess, since there's a chance I get a scythe. How much does a box cost? 8,000? Fuck up. Okay, well, I sacrificed the scythe to uh, unlock a crossbow. Dude. Put the bow away, bro. We both know it's suboptimal, dude. You do less damage every parse, bro. Bro. 
He fell off. He fell off hard. At least the music is a bop. Oh, is that the soul thing? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. We can buy a soul sucking item right here. We got the scythe. Let's roll. It's time to make some fucking money. And collect some souls. Yes. Die. Freak. Scythe obtained. Souls obtained. Let's clear this fucking place. Now. Okay, this melee attack is terrible. I feel pathetic. I need more money. I need to get more upgrades. Ow, ow! That guy killed himself on his own. All right, I didn't do that. That dude killed himself. Yeah. 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 Cash. Nice. Ow. Oh, hey, hi, Leek. All right, bye. An easy zone. Yes. Very well done. Clean. Is how most people would describe this. Clean. And a chaos emerald is obtained. Casually. Barely took me any time at all. Kill the worm. Take their soul. Kill the other worm. Take their soul. What is this? Whoa! Damn! Could this be the thing that brings my DPS back? Wait, where? How do I get back out? I don't know where I is. Well, at least I know I just I can destroy all this stuff and make some money. At least I'm making money off of this. Guess I'll go in here. I still got a minute. Hello. <laughs> I just feel so deflated. All I do is paperwork. Tap, tap, tap on this keyboard. <laughs> Drink copious amounts of caffeine and cry. I used to be so vivacious. <gasps> All the pies on the block and I would do kick flips and drink milkshakes in the park. I don't even think I have knees to kick flip anymore. Every time I stand, they ache. I'm only a day old, mush darn it. It would be nice to have some friends here to keep me company. The new craze nowadays are these pet rocks. It seems like everyone has them except me. I'm hip, I swear. I, I just haven't had the motivation to get up from my desk to go get my own. Would you find some for me? The more the better. Bro, of course I fucking won't. I used to do kickflips in the park with park with this sad pie back in the day. What happened to the both of us? Damn. Yeah, I'm not helping that idiot. He works for the bank. I don't I don't want to help him. He works for my enemy. I'm only here for souls and money. I have 49 seconds, hang on. Oh, hello, you must be here to learn about the Great Mush, the creator of all food folk life. We have an incredible community of believers who dedicate their lives to the Great Mush. Are you sure you're up to snuff? Wait, you've got the glow. You must be blessed by the Great Mush. Here, take our passcode, this should help. 
Rejoice, our chosen one is here. Congratulations. The glyphs aren't discernible, but it looks interesting. Okay. Well, give me your fucking money. And you too, give me your fucking money. Give me all your money. Oh, what's all this? This is all they had? Why did they give you their hat? Head speed? Headpiece? Skull? They called it their scalp? I can't keep doing this. You know what, turn up boy, keep this scalp. I guess I'll just take the tears. For your work, take this small token of my appreciation. Congratulations. Why is this wet? Whoa, I found Rock House. Cool. Absolutely huge, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, are you, how are you doing? So, uh, do you need a commission? Uh, a partner in crime? <laughs> no. I don't. Goodbye. I forgot to drop off the souls! Dude, fuck! No! At least I can afford the cardboard box. Oh, I still have them. Nice, nice. Okay, well, I mean, I don't really want to... No, I will do that every time. I'm going to buy the cardboard box. What is it? What is that? Is that... Is that bath water? Lost all your souls. You need that freaking scythe? That all the souls? Whatever, who cares? It's trash. I need, I want my cardboard box. It took me one run to make all those souls. You think I give a damn? Do you think I give a damn? About such trivial bullshit? Give me back the AR. That's right. Guy, give me your money, drop all your money. No, shaking these random people down at the front is a waste of my fucking time. We go straight to the back. Wait. What zone is this? All these elevators have a chance of spawning like a special uh, room. So there's a chance any one of them could be the fire room. Oh, hang on. This is a closed community. Get lost for- Oh! Our recruit has deemed you worthy uh, to join our beautiful community. Well, welcome, young turnip. You are now officially level one member of the Shrumanati. It's perfectly normal for healthy communities to have a leveling system, as you know. Maybe you'll even level up by doing community requests. So be sure to be social. I'm going to teleport over to my typical standing spot now. Uh, don't be too bummed out. You get teleportation at level 69, 420. Dude, that's a fucking funny number. Guys, if you guys don't all LOL right now, I'm gonna fucking email only mode the chat. All right, good. Thank you. He fucking blew up. This is a rock. Lies! They've been telling you lies! I used to be one of them. Those false prophets tricked me. They got it all wrong. Look at the statue, they tell me that. And they and tell me that isn't a broccoli, which means I am a direct descendant from a god. All will bow to me. You know? I didn't believe him at first, but he's got a point. I mean, the statue does look so much like a broccoli, and well, that means I can kick it with a descendant of the broccoli god. We should probably start a war over this dispute. That's the most practical solution. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! That is a broccoli. Or that's a mushroom cloud. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm not so, hang on. Ah, so you're the new recruit. Interesting. Well, the Great Mush has told me about you. They said that you are our chosen one. 
sent here to help our cause and become one with our family. The Peach Cops, or what you common folk like to call them, the Fuzz, have been getting closer and closer to figuring out where our little community lives. We must keep this place a secret. If we have found out, we, I will lose community support and the Great Mush will abandon us. You must take care of 200 Peach Cops to dwindle their forces. Brutalize 200 Peach Cops. See, wasn't that cool? I was standing over there and now I'm here. You seem like some bright, young, impressionable talent, young turnip. I'm sure you'll climb the levels in no time. The Great Mush, they are always hungry. They require sacrifice. As a community that's idol is the Great Mush, we must try and appease its appetites when we can. It seems they've been having a craving for swat peppers recently. If you want to prove you've got the chops for greatness, go and take care of 100 swat peppers. Okay, they just want me to kill people. The Great Mush would shake their head at how we've surrounded ourselves with all these old world structures. As a new recruit, you must renounce the old world. All that matters now is the Great Mush. It's time for you to show you're serious, peasant. Take care of as much old world furniture as you can. 1,000 pieces of furniture should do. I'm never doing any of these. I'm getting a wee bit hungry. I'm only level two, so I don't get as much food as the others. But hey, if basic living necessities isn't a motivator for the grind set, I don't know what is. This is perfectly normal. <laughs> well, maybe uh, if you could take care of some snail security guards for me, I could start eating those in the meantime. Kill 50 snail security guards for snacks and I'll repay you handsomely. Time for you to escar go. <laughs> uh. Die. All you know, this crap. Wait, what the? I have become one with the land. My land. Get off my property. Jesus. Acorn went fucking crazy after we evicted him. I respect the grind set, guys. You gotta, guys, you gotta respect the grind set. You gotta respect it, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Frickin' snails. And worms. Where does this take me? Ah, yes. Oh my! This one has a lot of nostalgia. This ain't the crackly crustacean. This is Patricia. Oh, forget it. What is this? What is it? Bring the sad pie seven rocks. I have to bring him multiple rocks? He's talking to them. Like a psycho. He's lost it, guys. Guys? I'm worried about Sad Pie. I'm not sure he's gonna be okay. I know a lot of you keep saying all he needs is to distract himself with pet rocks. I'm not so sure. I'm worried about them. Oh my mush. That is a speck. Spectacular cardboard box you have there. Oh, wait, no, this guy. That is a spectacular cardboard box you have there. Oh, indeed it is. Oh, I most certainly can let you in now. Yep. I'm in. And immediately I'm being attacked by some horrible fucking shit. What is this? Cryptid Hunter Extraordinaire Theodore. My career! Why? Everything's ruined, ruined, I say. You see those rock candy cryptids over there? We finally found them. Set up trail camps, collected samples of their sugar crystals for evidence. I even nibbled on their sugar poo to see if it was fresh. The poo turnip. You have to do what you gotta do when you're in the cryptid hunter game. 
I do it for the love of the chase. But right on the final hour, when all of our tracking has led us to them, my partner in crime manages to drop the camera and break it. It's over. My career. No. Dude, if it makes you feel any better, I'm killing the last of them right now, so there won't even be anything to take a picture of. Oh, hey. We're uh, cryptid hunter extraordinaires? Sorry, I don't mean to be shy. There's a reason why I prefer cryptid hunting to food folk interaction. Usually my partner in crime does our intros. They're a bit frazzled right now. We just found a super rare species of rock candy cryptid and I accidentally dropped the camera just as we were about to capture them. This would be the first official shot of them in food folk history. I'm sure we can figure it out though. My partner here is having a meltdown so we're just waiting for him to cool off before we figure out our next step. Oh yeah, I mean, if you have access to some dark underground supply trade, we won't pass that up. We ain't above that. Even a disposable camera will do. Capturing these rare rock candies would definitely put us on the map. Uh, I have to buy a disposable camera for these two. I mean, I just killed all of them. On my quest to uncover the social dynamics between the citizens of Seedstock and this stinky character, I found a major event that has put, them, put a major rift between the two's relationship. Stinky tried to run a festival to help shift the negative views he's accumulated from the citizens in Seedstock. I heard that it was a disaster. They've blocked that room off ever since. I would be careful if I were you, Turnip Boy. I'm not scared of anything. You know, I just got killed these last rock monsters. I'm not scared of anything, and I have a minute left to solve this. Hello? I'm gonna attack it. <laughs> oh no. Well, let me trauma dump on you a bit, turnip boy. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tell you some fucked up shit about my past. Do you mind if I tell you? We're friends. We're, we're good, right? Those good for nothing freeloaders were giving me a hard time. We were here first, they would say. When I asked them to give me all their money, I decided to play nice guy and throw a festival to win their favor. We were talking about all sorts of interesting things myself, money, my crowning achievements. Then this junkie came in and, well, let's just say we all made like fat kids and leafed. What? The only good thing about you being here now is you can deal with it. Well, this jump is quite the stick in the mud. Alright. You're awful at banter, moving on. Even though we're helping Stinky here, we gotta get past this beast. All of the riches must be behind them. Break a leaf, rookie. How bad could it be? Candy apple. Uh-oh. Die. Oh! Guys, why can't I damage him? Why can't I damage him? Come down here. Can't hurt him. I don't know how to hurt him, guys. Oh, he dropped. Blast him. Thank God I got this thing that... Oh, my God. We let, we just don't do damage to him. Good thing uh, I've got, like, good AoE clear items. Though I'm gonna be running out of them soon. Thank God I packed this whole fish. That might just keep me alive. Whoa! Everyone, this is gonna be a big one. Actually, this is pretty easy. Never mind, I just had to do it in melee. I'm actually, I'm shredding him now. Okay, I got him. I'm not worried. Yeah, we got this guy taken care of, guys. And I'm making a million dollars. Thank God this fish is here. See, it'd be a lot more difficult if all these enemies didn't drop items to heal off of. Turn up money bag too small. I Oh, I've maxed out my wallet. Fuck. Ah, well. Kill this guy and move on with my fucking life. Pathetic.
new key card. Congratulations. Wow, I got a new key card. That party was off the charts. Okay, so at the beginning it was kind of boring. Stinky wouldn't stop going on about his gym PRs and how he's all into meditation and stuff. This apple comes bursting through the door covered in cream goop. They were going absolutely nuts, bouncing all over the place, busting out some moves, just screaming their head off, man. It was freaking awesome. And then, like everyone else started getting in on the action, the party just went on a whole new level, you feel me? That apple, like, stumbled and impaled itself on a stick, totally killed the vibe. No one knew what to do, so they split and sealed off the room. Well, that apple really grew up to be a big boy. Jesus Christ. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, better sell these two things. That looked pretty dangerous. That looked pretty fun. Vid or it didn't happen. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave this place like that. I'm gonna go, guys. I gotta get the fuck out of here. We're running out of time. Gonna do myself a solid and loot some of the last items sitting around. That are worth anything. Specifically these golden statues. Sitting here on there. I don't have time for that one. We gotta go. It's time to leave. This one I have time for. Let's get it. Damn. All right, let's go. Yay, Tamto is here. As opposed to when I'm not here, when the stream is live. Who the hell streaming when I'm not here? Wait a minute. I awaken from my slumber. Guys, I think the raid team might be about to take me back. Your DPS is still lower than everyone else in the raid, dude. I see healers mashing one spell and do more damage than you, bro. Sad. All right, well, I've got $6,000. We didn't make that much money off of this one, but, uh... Wait, what's this? Bagged milk, a Canadian delicacy, apologizes when spilt. What does this even do? Just gonna buy it. Disposable camera for three dollars. Nice, I can help those people now. Don't know what goop boots are for. But uh guess we'll go drop that off now. Come on, guys. Grab all this money and let's go help those people with the cryptids. Hey, I mean, like, guys, even though it's, uh, you know, it's no, guys, it, 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 it's no insane super DPS, but it is an instant kill on everything in the map. Oh, my God. Just here for the money. Don't, buy, don't mind me. Cash. 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 And all these ones that are in physical bot, like physical item form, don't go into my wallet, which is good. Nice. Wait. Grab that. Nice. Can I go like straight ahead now? I have a blue key card. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You haven't been doing that badly so far. You remind me of your father. He was annoying, but decent at his job, just like you. <clears throat> Anyways, this place seems odd. I got a bad feeling about this rookie. Keep a keen eye out and watch your step. I need you alive if uh, we're gonna get to that mysterious mother load. Once this is all over, we'll be out of each other's leaves. Stay alive till then. Stubborn. Our typical turnip chino. You're going to regret this turnip. I'll take everything you care about away from you. Just stay away. I'm warning you. This place is festering with pests. If they don't get you, I will. Little dark. 
cherries? Wait. The fuck is this? What the fuck is? Didn't I see one of them before? Didn't I see them? Okay, there was a spooky apple. Ow! I can't see. I can't do this zone yet. I have to buy a lantern, guys. Sorry. We're not gonna be able to do that zone. I hurt my toes. Sorry, guys. Wait, this place has a gold outline. I think this might have some good stuff in it. If I live. If I live. But I'm not sure what the chances are I actually managed to do that. Oh, fuck! Okay, well, it's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Beat? Please communication with me now, earthling vegetable. Okay. Bye. Again. Oh, shit. Give me your money. Drop all that, you freak. Piece of cake. Make some good money out of this zone, yes sir. Make some real good money out of this zone, mm-hmm. I mean... Wow, it's the golden octagon. That's worth $20,000? Jesus fucking Christ, I gotta get the hell out of here. Is what I would say if I wasn't gonna try to make more money quick. I ain't done. I gotta drop off that camera for those nice people back at the other place still. Oh, fuck! My milk! Bro. My freaking milk bag exploded. Hey, I got, uh... You are a life and dignity saver, and now we can capture these bad boys once and for all. I appreciate you helping us out with this historic moment. This is gonna make us stars. Here, take this hat. It'll be worth something someday. We'll give you a signed copy of the photo to remember us by. Wow. The first official shot of them in Food Folk history. Awesome. Then they, then they can die. Now that we have a picture, we don't need him alive anymore, guys. Cool. All right, let's go sell this stuff. Turn on back to town. Drop off what we got. Mm-hmm. $27,000 in the bag. Getting close to the laser gun. Getting close to the laser gun, guys. All right, I would like to purchase one lantern and one goop boots, please. The mushroom giants have done a lot of lot for good folk society. They gave us the goop that allows us to live, to thrive. It seems like some of the creatures made from this goop have varying intelligence, which bewilders me. These rock candy creatures seem to act more like animals than food folk. They just jump and chomp around aimlessly. Hmm. How you doing, Jeffrey? Uh, I would like to purchase, um... Uh, I can't really afford anything good. But I mean, I guess better guns is good for me having, like, new stuff unlocked later on. All right, guys, now that I have this lantern, I should be able to see whatever the hell's going on in that new zone, so let's go. Now that we're, we're not gonna spend time looting randos anymore in zone one. It's a waste of my fucking time. Die, freak. You too, die. My milk! Is that an egg with a gun? Well, the grenade works well. The grenade launcher's great. The door here. Takes me to the failed festival. We don't want to do that. New gun. I like this. Not bad. This place bad. Wrong. This place cool. Hey. Oh! Oh, what the fuck is that? 
Aua. Hello. <laughs> Goblin is real. Goblin is real. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we didn't plan a party or anything, sorry. It's just, we don't see your kind here very much. It's nice to see you taking our efforts of diplomacy seriously. You don't know what I'm talking about. My people uh, and I have turned a new leaf. We used to be vegetarians. I know, I know. We're turning a new leaf, no pun intended. If you can get me some news on the peace treaty, I can make it worth your time. Find the goblin in the seed stock that is negotiating a peace treaty. Whoa, what the fuck was... This turned into me. What the fuck? Something's up with these freaks. I don't know if I... Whoa, 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 I just saw a ghost. Something's wrong, chat. Who's this? Give me your money. Ah, <laughs> uh, why me? First I'm abandoned by my friends and now I'm being burgled in this dark, smelly place. Please, sir, no more. Spare this poor soul. Nope. You come over here. <laughs> this day is almost as bad as when the orphanage kicked me out for being too tasty. Oh, good golly, it seems like no matter where I go, this cruel world continues to beat me down. Come here, idiot. Please, this is all I have left. My birth certificate. My parents left me this before they died in a grease fire. Holy shit. Bro. Give me that. They said it would help me get a new ID if I ever lost it. Now I have neither. Leave me. This poor orphan needs to dig a hole to run in. <laughs> Give me that shit! Good food certificate. An award for a food that is good and not bad. Pathetic. I have a picture of a creepy portrait here. Reminds me of Stinky. Die. All of you die. Live, laugh, love. Oh no, where the fuck are we? What is this? Um, help? I can't, dude. Well, obviously I require some assistance. I mean, look at me or us. Yeah, yeah, now you're getting it. Can you figure out a way to separate us? Yeah. Nope, guns don't work. Nothing I can do then, bro. Hey. Stunkle. Um, hello, mister. Oh, me, I'm just playing with these toys. My dad had this kid's table put in, and now I'm just here. Wish I could see him, though. It's been months. I don't really know how long a month is, but it's been a while. It's okay, though. He's just picking out the best milk money he can buy. He's rich, you know. <laughs> Stunkle. Bro. If you see my dad, could you give him this drawing? His name is Stinky. Um, actually, that might bother him. He's so busy. Maybe he doesn't put it on his desk if you find it. Thanks, mister. Congratulations. Bro. Bro. Yo, how's the weather today? Bro, you can't just say out loud that you want illegal substances. Are you crazy? You're supposed to say, Well, it is quite rainy on this fine, drizzly, snoozy Monday. Thank you for asking, my blueberry friend that is not suspicious or an illegal substance dealer at all. All right, I'll let it slide. Just take the wooden scram before the fuzz finds us. Congratulations. An industrial log of wood. Highly illegal. Okay. Hang on, give me this. What is this place? Oh, this is the mushroom zone. I'm praying to God. I prayed. I'm out of here. 
We gotta finish this. I gotta go black. I gotta go back to the black market, dude. Now. Crying anime. What is this? What is this a picture of? Oh, eyeball, eyeball, and there's two. There's like three more eyeballs. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> no. LMAO, JK, I use that thing to wipe, have fun, loser. <laughs> it's so over. <laughs> Guys, it's over. Wait, what's this? This place is wild. Basically a very underground fighting ring, like super underground. We're in the other side. I'm surprised the elevator even makes it down here. I'm sure if you fight, there's probably a prize. Break a leaf. Funky meow. Crunky meow. I was told to protect this dwawing for Cran Cran. Looks kind of like you. Yeah, it looks like it's been ripped. Not sure why she wants me to protect something that's already been destroyed. Oh, Cran Cran. La la la, I'm a queen. La la la, what will get me? Hello, we're all out with which I can't do this. How may the queen of the other side help you today? Whipping the shell out of my, my itty bitty hot quam quam body was pretty quench. <laughs> but I've got a new robot in wife now. I get to be the queen of the other side. I know my little grandchild Gwen Gwenjerica <laughs> is worried about me. She has every right to be upset at you. She would know that I'm happy. Here we watch Wowo's crazy shenanigans every Friday after our cage matches. Watch this. Is this? I reincarnated into a fantasy world as an alien from outer space. My little eyes are tearing up. Here. He here. I know she's trying to get into drawing mode. Take this to who? <laughs> I hate this sucks. And tell her I'm okay. And keep swaying for what real for real. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow, how the manga? Get the fuck out of here. Chunky meow. The timer stopped. Ah! I ran out of ammo. I'm fucked. I did not think this would. Oh shit! Wait, there's another item over there. We might be okay. Just have to get to it. Okay. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, guys, it's some kind of crazy blade. Okay. Why does this have to be multiple waves? Okay, well, the blade is very good. I'm feeling pretty good with the blade. Yeah, I'm not too worried with this sword. What the fuck is this shit? Die freak. Die freak. Die freak. Die freak. Good god, this is a fucking mess in this place. Drop health! That was a sheep. Kill him. Am I done? I'm done. Well, give me like a cool prize. Thank you. 
Uh, they gave me two, like, special things. I'm gonna take those over the sword. Make sure you give Quinjewica my How to Draw Manga book. She needs to be- she needs to study if she wants to get as good as her, her grandma. XD. I'm out of here. I have one minute to finish the fight. So let's get the hell out of here. Gotta go back home. We'll leave out the main way. Not gonna spend a fucking cent on this place. Give me this. A hundred dollars. Add it to my collection. I mean, I made like $60,000 off of this level. This run might have been my best run yet. Guys, take a look at this. Okay, $44,000 in the bag. It's not 60, but it's pretty good. Now, we sell this shit for a laser pistol. Dude! Could this be a thing that fixes my DPS? Bro! There's been a new expansion, dude. 13 DPS is barely even at the bottom. Whoa! Dude, you gotta be at like 50 DPS to even get asked into dungeons, bro. Dude. Uh, food folk separator. I guess I'll buy that. Uh, okay. And with the rest of my money, I'm gonna spend on a wallet. That's good. Wallet is good. Bro, your Vex Mythoclast got nerfed. Dude, do not bring Destiny 2 gun names into my fucking chat ever again if you know what's good for you. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Okay, well, the gun is very good. This laser gun is very good. My milk! I spilled it. Where does this take me? Ah, a money zone. We should clear this. The money would do me some good. Thankfully, we clear quite quickly with the laser cannon. Boom, bam, let's roll. Get some money out of this. $500, let's roll. Sure are cruising now. Warframe Omega Lull. Did someone make a Warframe reference? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hang on, I, got, I forgot to grab this part. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wow, that was worth $200. Okay, so the, the sight of the elevator door matters. Gimblar. I don't believe in King Gob and his newfangled ideas. Food was meant to be eaten, if, even if they are sentient freaks of nature like you. Look, normally you'd be dead where you stand. I would have munched you up so hard by now, but I can sense you have questionable morals. Maybe you can help me out. I need food folk flesh to satisfy my desires. I can pay you well. All right, Turnip Ed, normally I hate vegans and all they stand for, but maybe in this case we should find an alternative than feeding your own kind to this Gimblar character. Maybe we can find some normal food and disguise it. Okay. Oh, this asshole's back. Fuck. I have no idea how I find the ravioli person again. At least these are worth a lot. There's like, I keep on seeing this ghost. Though, and it's distracting me quite a bit. Okay, that goes to the mushroom area. All right, let me activate the wall. Clear that out. Whoa, is that the Food Folk Separator X2360 No Scope thingamabob? Yeah, I never heard of it. Anyways, use it already. I gotta pee. I don't even know how that works in here. 
Okay, bye guys. I see that ghost again. He went to that obvious boss room. Oh, hang on. Give me this. It's, it looks like WD-40. Oh, we're going to use that to kill the next boss. Hey. Mecha Chad. Sup, Burchacho? It's been a while. Look, I know we go way back, bro. But things are a little different now. Dilatini may have brought Raphael back to life, but Stinky decided I was the one true idiot radish. I owe him my life, bro. Feel most comfortable when some evil dictator is pulling the reins, you know? It's my love language. What the fuck? Prepare to die, bro. Is this another radish from that IRS crew? The one that Robo Raphael used to run with? Dread! I guess Stinky had the same idea with this Chad character that I had with Raphael. You don't choose the Robo Life. The Robo Life finds you in shambles and pieces you back together to be a mindless worker for someone else's personal gain. That's just how it goes, I guess. Anyways, you can't get soft now, kid. We're a team. You have your whole crew counting on you. They chose their side. We chose ours. Do what you have to do. You guys think you're the only ones with a robot? Think again, Turnip. You're just like your good-for-nothing father. Sticking your face where it doesn't belong. This will stop you. It has to. Mechachad is the commander of my SWAT force. He's the culmination of a lot of hot glue and smart stuff to make this ultimate alpha robot. Have fun, Turnip. Have fun. Holy shit. Guys, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to make it out of this one alive. Ow, fuck. Wait, he's already mostly dead. My gun rips him to shreds. Wow, bro. You're not really engaged right now. Can you stay on your A-game with a slime video playing on your screen? What? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude. I, I, uh. Now take this guy down quick before he adds more slime videos to the screen. No, look at that. Uh, how about a soap video? Like, you like soap videos? This is the last uncorrupted footage I could find from the old world. This has to work. Ah, oh, shit, guys. They're running a freaking soap cutting video on the stream. I can barely fucking see. Oh. Just die already. Die. Pathetic. Finally, a stream I can pay attention to. Finally, bro. Congratulations. Okay. Not bad. We beat him. Which means now we can get the hell out of here. Kid, that was amazing. You truly do have mafia in your blood. Out of boy. Look, I haven't been completely forthcoming with you, kid. Stinky was a lot more involved with your father and Mayor Onion than I had let on. I thought if I told you more, you wouldn't have taken the job. And I like money, kid. A lot. I don't know the full story, but I know Mayor Onion was working closely with Stinky when your father passed. Is when Stinky took over this bank. We can finish his job and be done with all this, kid. We'll drink pina coladas on the beach far away from here. Just make it through this alive and find that mysterious mother load. Then we can all go find a new home. I don't go down there, ever. I'm not planning on it this run, dude. From what I've gathered, the refugees here are a bit on the stranger side. They don't fit in well with the residents in Seedstock, so they've begun to flourish here where they feel accepted among their fellow oddballs. When they lived in Veggieville, they were more on the outskirts, more secluded. They're all perfectly pleasant, just a bit quirky in their own unique ways. I don't like quirky. I'm out of here. I only have a minute to get back home. Move! I can't believe that empanada guy or that pierogi guy or whoever the fuck he was gave me the freaking piece of paper he wipes his ass with. I can't believe I still have it in my inventory. You know? 
horrible. That jerk. That sicko. I gotta go drop all this stuff off, guys, so I can make money. I'm not gonna have made a lot of money today. I get this bad feeling. It's, yup, embarrassing. $16,000 in the bag is nothing to me. It's nothing to me. Damn! Sorry, dude. If you can't break 20 DPS, you're not coming. It's whatever. I don't care about going on the raid. Hmm. This place too seems to have hieroglyphs on the wall. It seems like it's a warning. It's warning you that you're being watched. It's pretty suspicious. Ah, this one is hard to look at. It's just so strange looking. I keep trying to focus on its face, but it's like my brain can't make sense of it. It's such an oddity to me. What are these extra limbs? What are these random holes? It definitely gives me stinky energy, though. Maybe you used to own this bank before the Great Mushroom Giants came? Premium train ticket. Yeah, buy that. That sounds good. I feel like I'm going to get billed an insane amount otherwise. Okay, I want to run around the map, the like back to the original first zone, specifically because I know I have a bunch of quests done that I need to hand in. I want to do like a lap around and just see if I see anything, like just kill everything that I come across and just see if I see any like stuff to actually. Oh, perfect! So you're proving to have the soul of a Sigma T boss. You're on that Sigma grind shack, baby. Here's your reward for bringing me more souls. It's a classic. It's Soul Sigma. Keep the souls coming. New song. How do I play that? Sigma soul. Wait, I should change my fashion. Guys, this is the scalp of that guy who I took that loan from. Whoa. Was that a bubble gun? Whoa. Was that a second bubble gun? Trash. Wait, I can recycle both of them, though. We'll take them both. A troll. Damn, this song kind of bops, though. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> it's. Says here on the interwebs that there are about 3.5 pet rocks in the average food fall call. Those poor half rocks. Well, I want eight. They deserve homes and I deserve friends. You brought me one so far. Okay, yeah, dude. I'm definitely going to fucking do that for you. Thank you. Oh, my mush. My fix! Finally! Look, turnip boy, I'm giving you my prized possession. It sleeps with me every night. Here, take it before I change my mind. What the fuck is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? That's a crazy pet rock. The DPS on this bubble gun leaves a lot to be desired, guys. I don't, I don't have the ring for that person yet. I'm just trying to run around to anything with a... Wait. The king asked you to get the police training? Then you must know my true form then. Right now I'm wearing some cardboard in the shape of a kiwi. It seems like your feeble mind can't comprehend my true form right now. My disguise must be so good. Look, I'm here for diplomacy. I was able to convince this ugly orange to sign the treaty. Peace has been achieved. Make haste, turn up. The king doesn't like waiting. Congratulations. Okay, I got the peace treaty. Yeah. My new friend here had me sign this treaty. I don't know what it does, but it said peace on it. Uh, that seems nice. He just kept looking at me with those ugly eyes, and I signed so he stopped looking at me. Dude. I get it. This bubble gun is the worst fucking thing I've ever held in my character's hands. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the peace treaty site, guys. Let me just spam dashes. Don't fucking...
fucking shoot me! Darn! Thank you for the health. Thank you. All glorious day will be peace at last. As I said, I reward you handsomely for your brave efforts. I bestow you... I bestow upon you the title of a knight. You will now be Sir Turnip Boy. Wow, I was knighted. That's fucking useless too. Where the hell am I? Oh shit. Oh, there's Ravioli! Ravioli! Oh, thank you, Turnip Boy. With this good food certificate, people will finally know that I'm the better than that awful, vile, revolting pierogi. Here's some cool stacked rocks I found as a reward. Wow, they're stacked. Time to die. I lived. I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Count on it. Hey, I ain't, I ain't leaving without you guys. I'm gonna get help. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Bro, I only made seventy-five dollars. Oh well. Time for the real run. That was the that was the do quests run. This is the big one. Hey, freak. Give me this. Yup. Every gun that you get from this place randomly is so trash compared to the starter items. I'm only grabbing them. Oh, hello. Give me all your money. What are you doing, you plebeian? I'll have me at once. Don't you dare shake me again. Shaking them again. What kind of depravity is a big dumb coin, TM? All right, all right, I concede. I am an intellect and don't take too fondly to being shaken. I'm losing brain cells by the minute. Take the much forsaken GPU. If I find out that imbecile is playing Fortnite during work hours again, there will be much to pay. Congratulations. You can, this baby can mine big dumb coin TM for miles. Holy shit. Du guys, there's stuff in this fucking place worth a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, the grind is over. We've won. We have finished the game. Drop all your stuff, freaks. Wait, what's this? General Grapefruit. You trying to taunt me? You've already ruined my life. Just go away. Okay, bye. What is this? Ah, uh, my training in Taurus hasn't prepared me for this. I have never seen this room. Proceed with caution, I guess. Dr. Dogna. I'm Dr. Jennifer Dogna, most renowned of the renowned lab labs. Although, though that's in another uh, dimension. Not sure how I got here, but what an opportunity for research. I'm growing a super fox to see how it does here. You smell like a brave pup. Think you can take it? Just go press that button over there when you're ready. Uh, my weapons suck, but whatever. Yeah, I can, I can kill it. Looks like Garfield, the fucking thing. Fucking thing just looks like Garfield. Uh, die freak. He did a fucking power roll at me. My weapons are so bad, guys. The only good weapon is the laser. He's doing dodge rolls. Forget it. He's way too... Wait, he dropped something. Wait. Wait, he dropped a good gun. Wait, we might be okay. It still doesn't one-shot, though, which is fucking tragic. If I just camp right here, I might just be okay. Everything's dropping health, though. God damn, though. I need the 100k! I- Whatever. I don't give a shit about that freaking like, dog. Bringing the bow to raid. My mistake is I keep on dropping my starter weapon because I'm like, I want the rocky launcher! But, like, it doesn't fucking matter. 
It's a fox. Nah, it's Garfield, dude. I think I know Garfield when I see Garfield. You mean Garfield? Idiot. Like, look at how much easier it is just kill shit with this gun. Boom, instantly dead. Boom, dead. Dead, dead. Pierces so it kills everything on the board at the same time. What is this? These fools with their keyboard clacks and their mediocre coffee. Oh shit. We're in an office worth a hundred million fucking dollars. Oh, perfect. No way. Is that what I think it is? My GPU? Thanks so much. To make this worth your while, you can take one of my rare non-fungus trinkets. Congratulations. It's worthless. Well, the music's going fucking crazy. What song is this? Jesus. Let's just get what we came here for. Come on. Bingo. That guy's got a lot of money. And this safe is... Oh, there we go. I was like, where's my fucking money? A hundred thousand dollars and another ten thousand in my wallet. Let's get the fuck out of here after we loot this one too. Another hundred K. Let's go. Our DPS sucks. Can we vote him out of the party? This is you. This is what you look like. It's wild they put you in the game. Okay, I'm gonna swap to this, but only because I'm about to leave it. Oh, goblin. Oh! <laughs> there was an accident. I saw you tripping a while ago, and you look pretty cool doing it. When I do it, I fall into radioactive sludge and melt half my face off. I don't even know I'm still alive. I probably look pretty metal, though. Nice. Bye. Bye forever. Ah. Uh, piece of cake clear in this place. And I've made a hundred million fucking dollars. So not about to complain on that. Guessing this goes to the bot. No, this goes to the exit. But oh, where the hell is the... Where the hell is the fucking end of the zone? Oh well, let's drop off my money. Of which we have made... $415,000. Rocket launcher unlocked. Let's go ahead and see how much DPS this bad boy does. Sorry, dude. We're actually all moving on to a different MMO, dude. Didn't know how to tell you, dude. We didn't know how to tell you. We're bored, bored of waiting for you, dude. Bro. <laughs> Bro. What? This is an incredible find, Turnip Boy. This kind of looks like an old world creature, but pretending to be a food folk? Why is half their skin melted? They look a little paler and more now more malnourished than what I thought old world creatures looked like. This means that there must still be old world creatures roaming our lands. Are they just in hiding? Did they used to inhabit this building? Have they been here since the great mushroom giants or before? So many questions. Shut up, nerd. Jesus. Unlock every upgrade in the game. Boom. Yeah, let's roll. Quiet, dork. God, barely hear myself think with you talking all the time. Jesus. Let's roll, guys, come on. Die, 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 
I have a missile launcher, so this is pretty accurate to how it should be going at this point in the game. Is that a freaking? Is that? Yo, we got the freaking infinity gauntlet, guys. Epic. I'm gonna take back out my rocket launcher, though. Sorry. I don't even know why I still care about money. Where's the exit? Oh, there's a skull on this. That means I should open it. Wait, what? But where do I? But where do I? Oh, hang on a second here. Where the hell's the actual way I'm supposed to go in this crazy dungeon? I have a lot of health though. That's cool. Horrible creatures, all these. Oh, here we go. Wait, turn up, creature. Come here. You've got an aura about you, turn up. There's more than meets the eye. I can sense that there's a lot of violence, crime, and questions that you seek. You lost your father, right? Did his name start with A? B? C? D? I knew it. And what's this? A sister? She's trying to find you, she says. You still owe me $20. She's somewhere down here, turn up boy. She's been haunting you, looking for closure. You must find her and bring her back here. Oh my god. My sister. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but maybe. From what I've gathered, the refugees here are a bit on this. Wait, was this, is this the exit? Did I go in a fucking circle? Where's the actual end of this level? Fuck! Raise the fucking maze! Gotta be this way! Fuck! This place is a fucking maze, man. I don't know where I am. It's gotta be this way. For real this time. Nope, not there. We keep going. This is it. Hi, turn up boy. Remember me? I'm your freaking mailbox. After your last adventure, you cast me aside here to rot, replacing me with a damn app. I bet it doesn't even work, because I at least worked. Watch, I'm sending you something stupid. Watch it not even work. Don't even bother checking your phone. Only about a subscription. I got a new hat for that. That's cool. To you, bones, bones, bones. I got a bone hat. To you, I got a frog hat. To you, you've been impaled by a stick. Ouch. Uh, help. Uh, nope. Uh, it's from Mima. Um, look what I brought home. Sorry, dude. I have a lot of... Sorry. Um, do you mind giving me another second? I got a ton of letters on my app that works. Chad moment. Epic. Uh, I hate you. Oh, I actually got another thing. Oh, my fucking God. My brother in Christ. Is that the 10 gallon? Damn it. It worked, didn't it? Yeah, it fucking did. <laughs> I mean, hello, vegetable. Hello. Well, that's the way out. I don't need to do that. Who's this guy? Halt! Formed turn up. You is here and hall is deep and dangerous, which is good. Bridge is only way, but I point and laugh because you do not obtain bridge. I have to go buy a fucking bridge. I'll be right back. Give me one second, sir. You hold that thought. I gotta go back home so I can purchase a bridge so I can own you. We all be. Thank God I bought a lifetime ticket to ride. 202,000 dollars in the bag. Can we sell bridges here? Oh, I gotta sell this infinity gauntlet. Hang on. Dude, it's barely even worth anything. It's trash. Okay, only 150k to buy a bridge ain't bad. Let's go. How does it fit in the van? The freaking hat. Come on, chat. We got work to do. Move. Move! Get 
Good god, I gotta fight through a lot of stuff to get to this guy. Guess I can just spend more time dodging. The ice cream guys have extra health too, which is annoying. Oh, a water zone. I've never been to the water zone. Wait, why do I have a towel on? Am I naked without a towel? I typically don't wear clothes. Ah, oh, yes. A bunch of sweaty veggies trying to wash away the filth of their daily lives. I don't even know what they store here. You may be able to get your own locker, though. Cool. Humph. Didn't expect to see you here. Well, bucko, this is a little awkward. Stinky set me up big time, bucko. Ever since I set up a rail line up in the bank, I've been living the breezy life here. There's one thing missing, though. I have a major want for a good old classic soli pop. You'll get one for me? Good show. And they steal everything from their lockers. Based off the 420th Veggieville Amendment passed down by the Great Mush themselves, all lockers are private property. So you see, Turnip, we can put highly suspicious things in our lockers and Stinky can't seize our belongings. It's the law, you know. If you want to store a gun for later, put it in the locker. I'm good. I'm not here just to take a shower in a bank, Turnip Boy, although that is a sensible conclusion. Look, I'm concerned, kid. You have a destiny to follow in your father's footsteps. You are the next Don of the Turnip Chino family. I just don't understand why you would throw that away all to work with your father's sworn enemies. The Pickled Gang is not who, where you're meant to be. I'm getting old, kid. After the tax evasion, the war. I want to make sure the family lives on. Just think about it. Think about what your father would want. The deeper you get into this bank, you may not like what you find on the other side. Who asked you, you old bag? Shut the fuck up. Bridge is the only fo way foolish form to turn up. Do not attempt jump. Jump equals expiration of non-linked life form. I make bridge. I made bridge. I see you built bridge, turn up. You will continue to exist due to your intelligence. Do not think you will do anything more, however, as we will be here. What does that fucking mean? Bye. I'm just gonna go. Yo, is that a ghost? Yo, come here. Wait, is that my... Wait, that's my sister. I guess. Hang on, I gotta bring you to a freaking fortune teller. Come with me. This is really important. I gotta like cleanse my soul or you're gonna haunt me forever. Even though I feel like my character doesn't concern himself with things like that. I think it's still important I deal with it. Yeah, she's been dead forever, but like who cares? I'm only doing this for the quest objective. Hey. You may not be able to speak with her, but I can bridge the gap from this world to the spooky world. Okay, uh, well. Excellent, you found your sister. What a joyous reunion. It sa she says, I'm still a little miffed about the $20, but I'm glad to see you are okay. You're wondering how she died? She just says, plane crash. What's a plane? She wants you to have this, something to remember her by. She says that she misses you and dad. She will tell tales of your adventures to the other ghosts so that when you die, you'll already be cool and you won't have to make your way up the social ghost ladder. Epic. Okay, bye. Plane crash, dude. Damn. Give me this. Can't believe she got got by a plane crash. What are the odds? Crazy. Yep. Back to it. Die, freak. Oh, a picture opportunity. Home. Okay. Ugh, my moral compass. It's driving me crazy. I'm conducting this experiment trying to fuse a bunch of bonked berries into this amalgamation you see before you. I call it Frankenberry. Frank for short. My only problem is... I just don't know if I can ethically go on. My hypothesis is that once I zap it with a bunch of electricity, this thing will awake. But what happens then? Does this individual part have its own thoughts, feelings? Am I creating one being or a bunch of beings taped together? These are too many thoughts to thunk right now. 
I think I need someone who can tell me if this is morally just or not. I've heard there's a thinker in this bank that can set things straight. Once they tell me I'm good, I'll feel better about this. My moral compass will press on and I'll find, uh, and I will be the greatest scientist known to food for kind. All right, you go get him. My guy, I will do that for you. If I wasn't about to do this boss fight at the pitiful pit. Oh, what the fuck are you? Where is my coffee? Kid, I don't know what to say. What is that? What are those sticks coming out of its body? I mean, Mayor Onion looked freakish when he took God for him, but this is another level. Okay, okay. Pep talk time. A good old team morale booster. All right, listen, kid. Your dad and I, we had our differences. I can't deny that. We were young and running the farm patches for wild. But he was a good man. He was tough and had grit, just like you, kid. Oh, I was talking in the freaking stinky voice. I don't think there's much turning back now anyways with everything that's happened. We just gotta get through this and out of this mush forsaken bank alive. We'll figure out what's next after. You got this kid, I believe in you. I'm gonna be fine. The true owner, Uncle Rigsby. Guys, I'm just gonna blast him and kill him. He's got a lot of health. Guys. I mean, he's not really doing that much to hurt me, though, which is cool. I've already mostly got him killed. Piece of cake. He's already half health, guys. I don't need a raid team. I can do this all on my own. My brother, where is my brother? I was eating a sandwich when he called and then the bombs dropped. Where is my coffee? Dude, chill. Dude, relax. I don't know what's going on over there. Something's wrong with that side. We're gonna avoid that side of the map, guys. Thank God I got this rocket launcher. My niece, she whispers to me, what did you do? No sugar, venti, cold foam, two pumps of mocha. Okay, well, um, relax, chill. Uh, I don't like the arm thing. I just spilled my milk. Ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouchy. It's choking, dude. I knew his DPS wasn't good enough, bro. I told you, dude, I told you you'd never do it, dude. Dodged. Too easy. Allows you to open the purple doors labeled with the number four. And I got this huge frickin' sword. What if I don't ever recycle this and I just keep it? We've searched every inch of this much forsaken bank. Every inch. We've seen some things I will never be able to get out of my pickled noggin. A freakish food folk with sticks growing out of it, soap videos, awful architecture and floor pan plans, and for what? You're sick of it, eh, you dumb pickle? I'm sick of it. You've ransacked my bank through and through, all for your futile attempt to find my mysterious mother load. I've earned this bank, blood, sweat, more blood, because I never cry. You don't know the things I did to get this bank, you fools. What I had to do to earn my fortunes, my sports car, my gold. You haven't earned it. I'll always be right under your noses. Always a step ahead of you. Wait, right under our noses? I didn't even think. Andy, do we have any intel on what's under the bank? I, I didn't even think about what could be underneath. I was only looking for files of the bank layout itself. All right, I'm gathering intel. One sec. Hacking in. Beep, boop, beep, bop. Got it. Okay, turn up, boy. There are sewers right under the bank. Can't find exactly where the entrance is, but it seems to be somewhere in the center. That's got to be where the mysterious mother load is. Oh, my God. Let's freaking roll, guys. I got this giant sword. We should be perfectly fine clearing the rest of this place. No problem. That guy's never going to get his moral answer, by the way. Sorry.
I'm taking the train out of here. Get away from me, freak. Skirt. <laughs> Lots of money. I don't know how much. It was like some dark web thing I could buy. I wonder how much that is. Yeah. A crowbar fight. Tangerine dog. Buy it. Buy it. And where is this tangerine dog? Unfortunately, this is a familiar scene. After God Onion crashed into Veggieville, the landscape was littered with rubble and meteors and fire. Then the war happened, and well, you know, there isn't much left. Wait, what's that? It seems as though your little battle with God Onion brought down some sort of contraption. I've never seen anything like that. Oh my god. This guy didn't sell anything new, so I don't know why it's still outlined in green. Oh! Doggy. Dude, my DPS sucks every time I fucking do anything. Why am I so lame? Let's just go. Die. Come on, guys. I know exactly where to go. It's time to finish this. That guy was collateral. He doesn't matter. I killed him because I could. Hmm, yes, right, right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, me? I'm just thinking up a storm over here. Oh, that was a good one. I gotta write that down. I'm the best thinker that's ever thunked. They're even making a statue of me in my honor. What was that you say? You have a moral quandary you need the thinker to thunk on? Oh my, that really is a conundrum. Hmm, yes, thinking, thoughts. Mm hmm, okay, I got it. Here, take this to them. Hopefully this gives them the thunks they're looking for. Congratulations. It literally just says burst. I'm not bringing that to them. I'm moving on. I mean. Wait, this doesn't actually get me there. Where the fuck is the actual? They said the sewer was somewhere in the center. Does it mean center is in here? Center courtyard. There it is. We needed a crowbar to get in. Come on, Tangerine, let's finish this. What? Here? Pfft, no way. Mysterious mother load. Here? In the sewers? Pfft, yeah, right. It's over here, isn't it? Like right here? Wow, it stinks here. Die. Freaking rats. Pesky creatures. Die. I bought this plot of pipe for 500k. The cost is fine because it's technically a waterfront. Okay, true. Dispatched. Easily. Go by. This sword is good. I like it. It was worth keeping. Oh, hey, my friend vanished through this wall here. I'm too spooked to go check it out myself, so I'm kind of just sitting here. While I'm here, what are your thoughts on the controversy? You know, the controversy. What, do you live under a rock? No comment. I have nothing to say on that. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is really unsettling. I'll stay here for a bit, though. I'm taking a break from my friend. They won't stop talking about the controversy. I have no clue what they're even referring to. Huh. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> ah! My sword! No! I had the metal weapon! What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I was meta! Uh, wh what is that? That is gonna haunt my nightmares. Did you meet the guy who's running the shop we like to buy from? He doesn't seem too happy that you found him. Oh, Jeffrey, you piece of fucking shit. God damn it. Dude, that was a really good weapon. Oh, I'll just use this beam. 
I'll just use, I guess I'll settle on using the laser. Classic Jeffrey moment, guys. We should have known that would happen. I mean, I think the laser is honestly just better. Look at how fast I cleared that, even with like the milk thing. I think the laser is better. Hey. Hey, I see you eyeballing me. I thought I told you to get lost. Oh, are you looking at my Sony Pop? All right, okay. You actually think you can take my carbonated beverage? Dude, I'd like to see you try. This guy really thinks he can waltz in here and just take my drink? It's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Okay, try me. Let's see what you got. Go on, take it. We could be here for thousands of years and I bet you'd still be stumbling over yourself trying to take it from me. After all, how could a... I got it. Bye. Wait. Oh, oh crap, I dropped it. Uh, fine. That's a freebie. Goodbye. That's for me. Yeah, maybe the laser gun's the best item in the game, Chad. All right, maybe, maybe. Followed shortly by the Doug Dimidome hat. I mean, it's just, just shoots too fast and instantly kills almost everything. It's too powerful. But is it a fun weapon? Dude, as long as it gets me into the raid, you know what I mean, guys? It's not about fun, it's about numbers. Kid, I'm serious. This isn't worth it, turn up boy. I used to know Stinky very well. We had the same job back in the day. It's not just treasure you're gonna find at the end of this. I've crawled through sludge to tell you. You have to listen to me. Shut up, you old bag. Know your fucking place. And go find a hole to die in. <laughs> oh my. I, I promised I wouldn't cry. Look at, oh, the gold. Wait, where's Stinky? I don't know, but I am gonna take this money beam and all this money. Nice, fancy, I found a ring. Nice. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, it's definitely the better weapon. I think. I, mean, I gotta break all this down into its core components so it goes into my wallet so I can actually shoot it. The wallet, the timer is still going down too while I'm doing this, like I move quick. Okay, that's enough. Stinker, you in here? Hey. Stay, stay away from me. Don't come any closer. You'll suffer the same fate that befell your father at my hands. Aha, that stopped you in your tracks. How do you think I got this break, you sniveling turnip? Mayor Onion came to me to get the job done, to restore some dignity to the turnip chino name. Tall mafioso everywhere, your father. He had gotten too soft for the role of Don. Probably because he had some snot-nosed kids to take care of. What? You're gonna cry? Your father didn't even see it coming. Don't mess with me, turnip. What? You don't believe me? Go check out that chest over there and see for yourself. What's in that, what's in that box? Oh my god. I found my dad's old things. Dang. Dad. You son of a- He's gone, that coward! At least he gave me this freaking. At least he gave me this, this gun. Oh, I also got that drawing for Stonkle put down. Nice. Oh, well, we made a million dollars. I mean, I made more total just doing other stuff, but that's still cool. Mayor Onion hired this lowlife to assassinate Don. There's a code that we live by to kill a Don without a fair fight. He didn't even get a chance to fight back. I may not have liked the guy, but he deserved better. Just let me think. As much as you probably hate him, as do I. 
and they need to go turn up boy let this coward live in squalor while we take his riches there's been a lot of killing turn up boy mayor onion the war you know what we're taking the whole bank get back to the warehouse i got a plan dad Dad, his ghost is with me even now. Ah, get away from me! Get away! Get away! I'm just gonna switch the weapon again. He's still on me! Ah, gross! Ew! Dude, I don't wanna be haunted. I don't even know. How do I get out of here again? Oh, I go this way. Should I let Sponkle know that he, his dad, uh, like, jumped, like, skipped town? I feel like I owe it to Sponkle to let him know. That's not even his name. I don't fucking care. His name's Sponkle now. You know, that, that's his name. I'll just take a quick trip on over to Sponkle. He'll be so happy. Oh, the, the tears of joy, he'll cry. We know how ha he'll be so pleased to see us. Sponkle! Sponkle! Barely get through this fucking place. Sponkle! Oh fuck, I almost shot him in the back of the head. Stonkle! Oh, thank you, mister. Since you and Stinky are such good friends, I thought you would like this little rock I made of him. I made it so he's always with me even when he's getting milk. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, this got more depressing. This is really sad. Bro. That's fucking sad as hell. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I think I'll drop off that ring for that other person. And maybe I'll just try to drop off all these side quests quick, just so I've like, you know, crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's. Feel kind of bad about Stonkle though. Never really know, I don't really know what I could do for him though. Idiot got abandoned, nothing to be done about it. Mm -mm. Poor kid. Hey. Shh, turn up boy. She might hear us. We can't ruin the surprise. Okay, good, good. We need to get that ring. It has to be a big gem. But I have him. I thought I got it. Oh well. Then they're not getting it. Well, I tried. Let the record show. I did try. Where the gem though? I got a giant... A fucking one million dollar worth diamond. I certainly have the gem. Ah well. One hundred million dollars in the bag. Be, be snappy with it, kid. Come here. Okay, kid. Hear me out. We're taking this bank to the moon. We're gonna need some serious machinery if we're gonna break through the atmosphere. Go check the dark web for some boosters. Go, go, go! Okay, all right, boss. Uh, $900,000, I bought them. Turn up, boy, I'm so sorry. Your dad seemed to have a lot of love for you. He would have been proud. Yeah. All right, kid. I don't know how you'll do it, but with your mafioso blood, anything is possible. We have to take those boosters from the dark web and place every placed on every corner of the bank. You're gonna have to kill everyone in that room to do so. We need these boosters perfectly in the middle of each corner, according to Annie. That son of a fart can't get away with what he's done. We're taking the whole bank if it's the last thing we do. He broke Mafia code. Now we'll lose everything. Get going. Okay. I'm gonna grab this missile launcher. No idea how I'm gonna place this on every corner of the bank. Cowboy courtroom, pitiful pit, longevity labs, and failed festival. Oh, okay, so. The boss rooms of each one. All right, 
I can do that. Just the boss room. Right? Do I have to kill? Do I have to kill? Oh, I have to kill the bosses. The boss rush. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this gun uh, instantly shreds enemies, so that's good. Jeez, this pistol's crazy. Yeah, the pistol's cracked. We shouldn't have too much trouble. Especially since the game pauses when I'm in here. He's already mostly dead. Jesus. This gun... Dude! His DPS is finally good enough to be invited to heroics, dude! Holy shit! It's just too bad everyone already quit the MMO. Nice, he's dead. We move on. I yeed my last haw. There he goes. R.I.P. Place it in the middle. Wow, that's a big booster. How do you even carry these things? You truly do have the power of a god killer, kid. Okay, next one. Next one, quick. Quick now. Come on, guys. Pass Ow, fucker. Little piece of shit. Die. Hit me in the back of the head with a baton. Gotta wait for my DPS windows on this guy. Ha, ah, he's missing. Ha, ah, he missed again. <laughs> uh. Cool summons. And ignore all ads. All right. Cool. Thanks for the healing. Bye. Place it. Wow, kid. These bad boys are going to go for miles. Two more to go. Boop, beep. We're almost there, turn up boy. I'm coding the launch procedure as we speak. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Okay, cool. Thank you. Wait, I gotta take a picture of this. Wow. All right, next room. Let's roll. This is actually the closest one, I think. I'll be here in like 10 seconds. One, two, three. Wait, I've made a wrong turn. Three, we get to reset the countdown back to three. Three, four, because I made a wrong turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count really fast so we get to go back a couple. Seven, six, five, four, there we go. Start counting backwards because I'm allowed to. Die, Chad. Die. Okay, ow. Guys, I'm actually taking damage. Guys. Chad almost really chewed me up right there. Oh, God, he's adding the slime videos back onto the feed. Chad, please chill. Dial in. He's adding the other slime video back to the feed. He's adding uncorrupted soap videos to the feed. Can't fucking see. Got him. All right, last guy is actually easier than this guy. In my experience. Okay, next pillar. Boom. Let's roll. I mean, this pistol is getting the job done for all of them anyways. Main issue is going to be I actually want to take this carefully so I don't lose any health on the way or I will be in trouble. Take it easy now. Ow, fuck. Oh, nice.
Just take it easy and slow now. We will make it through this. And maybe I can tell that guy that his uh, idea is based while I'm at it. That'll be fun. That'll be nice. He'll probably appreciate that. Last thing I'll do on my way out. Who the hell's this guy? I am ruined! Oh, you petulant vegetable! I've been single for far too long. I sit here and brood my days away, always brooding. I thought I was being mysterious and broody enough that others would flock to me, but alas, being surrounded by coffins and bones has left me loveless. Wait, you have someone you think would like me? Her name is Cran Cran. I, 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 my, my, this is all happening so fast. Ah, uh, I've got to get spiffed up. Oh my, I have to write them something before we meet. Yes, a love letter of some beautiful stationery will swoon anyone. Please take this to them. I'm definitely taking it to them. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. I'm definitely not shooting us all to the moon in a second. I'm not do. I wouldn't be doing that. Hey, man. Eureka! Frank, my son! Oh, hey, turn up. I can explain. I decided, why not? Science is about exploration, and that lever was really shiny. I decided to just go for it. You have documented thoughts from the thinker? I'm a little nervous. Oh, hang on, let me see. Well, you sure are succinct with his words. Now I can go on with a clear conscience. Thank you, turn up. Wow, we gave me another rock. Oh, uh, hey, name's Frank. How you doing? Oh, me? You know, I'm having an existential crisis, but other than that, I think I'll be fine. Good for you. Good, good for him. Die. Last guy on my list, man. Uncle Rigsby. God, even this guy just takes so much fucking damage. Clear all the ghosts and we just keep blasting. I mean, it's still way faster. Dude, I got to skip that damage because I got stuck in a cutscene, dude. Easy. I feel like I need to destroy this because it's absolutely a problem later. There we go. Whoa! Chill. Chill, man. DPS is flawless right now. Yeah, the DPS guys is going really well. We're gonna ignore mechanics now and just uh, DPS the boss. Yeah, we're just gonna DPS the boss now. There we go, huge. Absolutely crazy. We've got best in slot gear, guys. Boop, beep, boop, last one, turn up, boy. Then we can press the launch button. Okay. I just gotta build a bridge so I can actually place it down out of bones. We're at the home stretch. Go to the go to the control panel at the center courtyard to launch this baby into space. Okay. Oh, I should probably grab this heart in case I have to get into a fight. Dude, fuck off. Fuck off. You're gonna die. Alright. Uh, alright. Launch it. Okay, uh, well, um, that was pretty fast. We flippin' did it, kid! Pina Coladas in retirement, here we come! Halt, Earthlings. What the fuck? Dad? Not so fast. It's time to exterminate these life forms. Nothing's ever easy. Annie. What the hell is going on? I don't know, boss. Let me see. One moment. Beep, boop, bop, beep, boppity, bop. Okay, I got it. These are extraterrestrials. There's evidence that Turnip's boys fabled to fight with God Onion got the attention of some whatever these guys are. Uh, at this point, I'm not surprised. All right, all right. I've got a plan. We need to slow this bank down. Shut off all the boosters and run for your life. Oh, God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. Piece of shit. Why? Fuck. 
Stop! Ow! Ow! Health. If. Where the fuck is the door? There it is. It's hard to see it. Give me this. To the moon, turn up boy! Three more to go! I'm gonna die doing this, dude. I haven't had to play the game seriously the whole time! Give me health. I have to farm health off of these people to win. Okay, go back the way I can. Ow, he's blasting me with freaking lasers, guy. Oh my fucking god, my health. Dad, do something! Why are half the fucking hallways are blocked? Gimme. I do I can't see. I can't see! Too much shit on the screen. Did it put me if it puts me all the way back at the beginning, we're not you'll have to buy the game to see the ending, alright? Guys, it's been a lovely time. We blasted a bank into the moon. Uh, I'm not doing a fucking full boss rush again for... That was a little too much on screen for me. I, I can see the writing on the walls on what is uh, ultimately going to be a... Uh, too heavy of a toll for me. But uh, yeah, uh, cool game, fun game. Uh, I like them. Always a good time. But uh, yeah, it's, the stream's gone on long enough. The stream's gone on long enough. I'm tired. If you want to see the ending, it's out there. You can find it. But anyways, chat, I will be back tomorrow. I'm doing uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. Doing the next session of Fear Nightfall. Should be cursed as hell. See you all then. Bye, dude.